a little bit of recap last session you guys went to Berez seeking a well a captured ally uh, a member of the order of the feather who would who uh, are a coven of were ravens who you have allied yourself with you learned that one of them had been captured by it, by some sort of force in Berez, whatever the source of all the scarecrows plaguing Barovia um, was, that was likely what captured this person and took them there. You also got a message from presumably Rudolf von Richten, the famous monster hunter, that the heart of your enemy, well, the one who made the heart of your enemy, the one that was the source of its strength, resided there, and that you might find some information regarding it. That you did. As last episode, you went through a bit of a dream sequence um, initiated by Baba Lisaga. There you followed her memories as she sought out some powerful green gems, fragments of them, uh, and learned that as they give life, they also have the um, ability to absorb it and to transfer pain, death, and uh, um, torment between one life to another. After gaining this knowledge, she fr pretty freely admitted to you that she used this gem to create a device for Strahd that would um, prevent him from taking any sort of damage at all. Instead, it would all be transferred to what is called the Heart of Sorrow. She admitted this, this woman who is claiming to be Strahd's mother. And as we resume our session, you stand in the swamps of Berez before the mighty spider-like hut of Babali Saga. Um, it's almost like a stump that is risen out maybe 20 feet into the air and each root from this enormous tree is now like a single insectoid or arachnid leg. And on top is a little hut where she resides. Though she herself is floating above it a bit to the side on a upside down head of a giant, skull of a giant. Excuse me. That is where we resume. Then there's just one thing I do not understand. If... Wait a minute, what just happened? You're back. You've made it out. Impressive, I must say. Though as I said, you cannot be allowed to hinder my dear boy's reign. I assume that means you're not just going to let us walk out of here. Most assuredly not. Oh. Anything you'd like to say? Yes. Well, I am still confused. If what you did prevented him from taking any harm, then how was he killed to become a vampire in the first place? This was after that fateful day. Uh, I have been here for generations, watching my dear boy, protecting him. I have a, oh no, go ahead again. No, no, that's just, that's creepy. She's like watching him and stuff forever. Ooh. So I have a question. Hi, Maris, nice to meet you. Um, so, um, so are you Strahd's mom? I am his true mother, yes. Do you mean that metaphorically or literally? Yeah. I am his mother. You can see now our eyes kind of shoot open a bit. There's almost this kind of sparkle of arcane energy behind them as this, the first time you see a true force of her personality come out. Well, given the way that he turned out, I can't really imagine that says much about your parenting skills. Ew. Maris takes a sip from her ewer. <laughs> oh, he turned out perfectly. Well, I do believe that uh, it is our plan to hinder your son's rule, at the very least. Um, 
I don't think it's going to be that much of a difficulty for us, given what all we've done and seen. But I suppose we could always give you a taste of what we can do. <sighs> and as I say that, I cast heroism on myself. Uh, that uh, the sight of casting a spell, we will roll initiative as she <laughs> says. <sighs> you make a mistake. My child is merciful to those who pledge to serve him. On your knees, and I will beg for you to be spared. <clears throat> well, no. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No? Well, All right. No, crazy. I didn't <laughs> We no, just sure. sang sure? how we were going to be amazing. We can't possibly <laughs> game over now. No way. I had this really strange dream that we were in some sort of horrible. Can I shoot her now? It was more of a nightmare where everyone was just singing, and I don't know what was going on. <laughs> Did you? Sing uh, All right, sorry. I'm pulling you onto the correct map. Oh, right now, please place yourselves in about middle of the way down on the left side. There's a pink square. A handy dun, 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 dandy box. A handy dandy box. What's in the box? What's in the Am box? Am I supposed to box? be that little? I don't like being that little. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, I was the biggest one. I'm trying very hard to get into the box, you guys. God, no! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so low. Why do I box always adjacent. roll so low on an issue? <laughs> yeah, I'm box adjacent. Is that... And I had a you see, obviously, the form of... Baba Lisaga atop her floating skull, and then in front of you, the enormous hut. Are we fighting What's, a house? Was there a question? <laughs> Did are I hear we fighting question? the house? Yeah, so are we house hunting? <laughs> you, you hear her speak the words, crush them, and the house seems to right itself up from the swamp and begin going your direction. And you see a bright green glow emanating from within the um, the actual house. Uh, it almost, it reminds you of the glow that you saw within the huge statue of Strahd that the druids built, as well as the glow from the um, the uh, the dream that you just had from these gems, <clears throat> Baba the Hut. <laughs> Boom, Baba and the Hut. All right. So here we hello. go. Hello, welcome, new pull. followers. Thank you very much. Yeah, hello the everyone. And thank you for the new <laughs> subs. <laughs> All right. Um, imagine that, Jeswaldo. You are the first to act. Za, I am going to cast heroism on myself, mm -hmm. and I am going to. So here's a question. I still have the 14 temporary hit points from Inspiring Leader. Uh -huh. Can I forgo the five that I get from heroism and just hold on to those 14, or those five need to replace the 14? It doesn't um, replace. It would, it would go on, but obviously you've already got fourteen, so it would just still be fourteen. Yeah, that's that's how I understand it too. Yeah. So uh, whatever the higher number is, let's of go with number. Yeah, whatever that, uh, that's what you I'm have. Not sure, I think you can. I do believe it's you can number. use. So let's let's keep going with that. Yeah. Okay, so I've just uh, cast that on myself, and then I will um, will send a bardic inspiration to Claire, and I will say. I've never fought the house before, but I think we've got this. And I will send her Bardic Inspiration, that's 1d6. Um, and then I'm going to cut over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, to right there. Great. And I'm going to sort of crouch down there if I can, give myself a little cover. Elimus, it is your turn. Is it now? Um, He will look the creatures in front of him and speak the words Receptor Vestibulum and cast Synaptic Static Alrighty then DC what is the 17 of that? intelligence save on all of them it's basically the size of a fireball Okay da, 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 da. 
to make sure I've got this going. Cool. Intelligence. Um, wow. I've got a 23 on the on Babali Saga. Is there anything about um, uh, condition immunities or whatever in Synaptic Static? Uh, 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 I think they need to have an intelligence higher than... Uh, uh, hang on, let me just... I will display it in chat so if anyone else can see it as well. An intelligence of score 2 or lower isn't affected. The hut is unaffected. All right, so she takes some damage and looks at you with anger as she takes it. She has muddled thoughts for one minute on a failed save. I think. Speak that into your microphone there. She succeeded on the save. <laughs> on a target takes on a failed save or half as much damage and successful after a fail. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, Cyvor, you're coming in there. Did you do the wrong one again? Yeah, because <laughs> I rolled a, a crit fail and got a five, and then I was too late, and I clicked the thing, and then you did the thing, and I was late, and then I'm here, so hi. All right. So I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, cool. So, um, it is Maris's turn. Okay, so... Maris follows a little bit after Jeswaldo and places herself kind of in between the rest of the party so she can cast Bless on everyone, including herself. Yeah. Yeah. So. Ooh. Ooh, Bless is in effect. Hell yeah. So Maris begins to say a prayer and bless her compatriots. <laughs> cool. does, does everyone get that bless? Uh-huh. Everybody gets a bless, including Maris. That's awesome. For and the you are concentrating seven. on that spell now. Very um, big bless. And you see the light of Saloon um, sort of emanates from uh, Maris's holy symbol and the faint light cascades over all of you, you feel empowered by her blessing. <sighs> Baba looks around and says, uh, you will regret that. And she points her finger at you, Jade, at you, Elimus, and casts a spell. Um, how many hit points do you have? Never something you like to hear. Is it power well, word kill? Because if question. it is, I try to count to spell it. <laughs> Not how that works. You had your chance to butt in. I gave you a good three seconds. Uh, I have 62, 76 right now. 76? You said? Yeah. All right, you are stunned. Oh. Zap. Zap, indeed. And she will float over to here. Sorry, here. Is she on top of a giant triceratops skull? Uh, it's actually the, um, it's the skull of a giant, it looks ah. like. Though, you're right, it does look like that in the arcs. Right, right? It's like three horns do not play with long necks, but all right. Wow. <laughs> Racist. Come on, we learned from Land Before Time, Ryan. <laughs> we did, we did. Ethel Flad, you're up. Um. Uh. How? What would be? <laughs> <laughs> I I know what I'm trying to ask. I'm sorry. Um. So a and I, I are right it? next to each other. <laughs> yes. A and I are right next to each other in initiative. Could we do a snake arrow on my second arrow shot? So. <laughs> we only have three I episodes left. I know, I okay. So that is an interesting thing, but when you think about actually firing an arrow with something wrapped around it the size of a snake, 
it sounds totally normal and totally possible with mm. physics. I don't see Magic. any problem with that. Okay. I see uh, how it could work rules-wise. I, I would imagine it would be very difficult. Yeah. Very difficult, like, and it would also be, be very um, painful for the snake, most likely. She's, she's tough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Just be aware that... So, your bow has a range of, what, 150 feet? So you launch a projectile with the speed to go that far. When she hits whatever target, if she hits it, she's going to be moving at an enormous velocity and come smack into it. If that's what you want to do with your snake friend, then <laughs> we can continue talking. But I mean... we're talking we're talking 100 foot fall type of damage from the speed of this. That's too much. I know, I'm like... Uh... I, I mean, excited, that's I that's the way I'm seeing this because... But yeah. what if she wild shape into something really, really large just before she hit, thereby so it would making... Be like a, it would be like the end of Tremors when that giant graboid still... All right, guys. So, what, so what really needs to happen here is Cyborg needs to pick Acantha up, bring her over atop Baba the Saga, let her go, go, and have her turn into a giant ape. That might work. But Snake Arrow, I'm afraid, like, is Arrow. not quite gonna um, is not quite gonna do it. Uh, we can talk about ways to perhaps launch the snake, catapult the snake in the future, but um, not a euphemism. riding an arrow, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. not a euphemism at all. <laughs> just one time. Back can um, we just what? talk about launching the snake? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. I would like to cast Hunter's Mark on the house. Okay. And then I will fire my bow twice at the house, which is a weird sentence. Go for it. Oh! Uh, does a net 20 hit? First attack roll of the night. Both hit. Both hit? Okay. Crit. Two hit not accompany the air horn every time now. An <laughs> air horn. <laughs> um. <laughs> so I'm seeing an 18, uh, 16 plus a 13, so we're at uh, 29 damage to start. Go ahead and roll two d6s, or another d6 for your extra bludgeoning damage. 35 total plus, so you just a big pair of hits coming in at 37 Ooh. total damage against the hut. Um, the hut. You see the arrow uh, streak into this thing, and oddly enough, you think, how is that going to affect it? But um, the arrow seems to pierce almost directly through one of these spider-like legs, and it it kind of stumbles a bit, like a um, ATST making its way through the forests of Endor, but stays yes. uh, it stays upright and continues marching your direction. Does the hunter's mark oh, as well? Oh, 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 what? It makes me so happy. Does the hunter's mark oh, Ooh, that's a good oh. question. Um, so any dice rolled, isn't and it? So it's an extra yeah, d6. So that's why I asked for the extra d6. Oh, uh, yeah, she well, she's two arrows. Do I need to roll another d6 for that nope. first crit? Okay. Oh, okay. oh! You do, yeah. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Because you get with two attacks. Third d6 so is a five. 44 damage. Oh. Thank All you for right. calling that, Jade. That's fine. You know. I'm learning. Yeah. Very good. All right. The hut moves forward. Or nope, not hut's turn yet. It's a compass turn. Unless uh, Athelflaed has any other um, nope, nope, nope. things she wants to do. Okay, cool. Nope, nope. Akanta, you're up. Okay, so question. Our, what is our terrain? Is it 100% swamp? <clears throat> It is swampy. Um, I'd forget to mention. Um, I don't think it'll affect anyone yet. Can you see this ridge kind of where you guys are at right now? So, do you see the how the terrain changes here? Yes. I'm, yeah. I, I can't see you guys on the zoom. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Where yeah. Yes. in this other area that is not this other high ground, it is difficult terrain as it is boggy and um, <clears throat> your feet sink down into the muck. So this weird modeled stuff is is, the... is higher ground. Oh, but over ah, here okay. it's swampy. 
Correct. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. The smoother ground is the wet. So a lime has of... just stepped into a bog. So could yes. I could I move somewhere else in knowing that? Sure. Yeah. 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 I, I um, neglected to mention it. So go ahead. Oh, well, I need to. Okay. okay. So for water elemental, I can swim in any kind of water. Is there enough in there to not make it difficult terrain being water? As a water element, as a swim speed, yeah, you would, you would, oddly enough, you could just kind of scoot across the top of it. Okay, then I am going to. Wild... Baba Yaga is also, but Baba Lisaga is um, forty feet in the air. Just so you know. <laughs> fly, Okanta, fly. Then, if she's flying, that means I need to go air elemental and go after her, which is what I'm going to do. I have fly of 90 feet, so I can go get her. And when I wild shape into my air elemental, I'm going to try to take a snake form. So I look like a giant snake tunnel. <laughs> what? Air snake. A snake tornado. I am a snake tornado, and I'm going to go after her and try to whirlwind her. I have not used that yet. That sounds okay. Could you go ahead and post that in the chat, please? Or read the... Um... Yes, because I don't have enough internet to get into chat. Sorry, guys. I live in the boonies. Uh, whirlwind. Do you want that... Uh, hold on here. Think, think, think. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to hurry. Oh, looks like a snaky oh. air elemental. Yeah. Or a cantha. Air Acantha, yeah. Very nice. Air Cantha. Air Cantha. Yeah. Air Cantha. <laughs> service. I can pull it up too for you. <laughs> okay. It's the only one I trust, Air Cantha. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> free baggage? <laughs> you can't beat it. Ooh, okay. Free baggage. All of it's oh, not really for... free. They get you other ways. <laughs> Whirlwind. So each creature in the elemental space must make a DC 13 strength saving throw. On a failure, it takes damage and is flung away and it can end up prone. Yes. We are going to attempt that. So yeah, throw, throw that old lady. I have a 16 as a I'm result. I'm going to throw an old lady. Yeah, yeet that. Listen, if I can't throw, I'm going to throw. So. Yeet that Mima. She might have made the save. <laughs> Mima got <laughs> yeeted. Yeet the Mima. Mima got yeeted by a Kentha. <laughs> Someone please clip <laughs> this. Please. I was going to say, that's going to be a clip. clip. Eat that Mima. So go Eat ahead and roll Mima. your damage. She takes 12. She rolled a 16 on the save, unfortunately. Let's see. And you can roll a d6 to try and recharge that ability on each of your turns. That's okay. the new hit single still... by Fit Slap hit Bootman. Eat that Mima. <laughs> <laughs> you are still taking up her space. I can, yeah, and I'm going to stay there. Okay, okay cool. Um, it's for an. You know, for visual purposes, she is on top of that space, but just so we all can see her, we will keep it right here. Cyvor. Hey, guess who's back? All right, so. Um, back again. Back again. Yeah, all right, so good. Cyvor is going to go ahead and take to the air. Hmm. 40. Well, actually, no, let's go there, because I got, I, got, I got reach. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, crack that whip on Baba... Si y Yalaga? Lizaga. Baba Lizaga, that's one. Baba Lasagna, got it. All right, <laughs> Crack so. that whip. <laughs> All right, so. It's a hard that. nope on that. All right. <laughs> 27 to hit. Uh, 27 is going to hit. Lovely. Damage is 8. Oh, yay. Cool. Um, and then uh, I would like to burn a key point. Shocker. And uh, do a stunning strike. So, let's see how your how your con is. I've got an eight on this one. <gasps> Yay! Okay. So, uh, with that, uh, she is now uh, stunned until the end of my next turn. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attack again then. Okay. With, uh, with, uh, now, so stun target is advantage, right? My, my um, yes. My Sprecken's the Deutsch there? Uh-huh. All right, mm -hmm. so. Uh, 
So one, uh, 18, and okay, so the top one on that is a 25? That, yep, absolutely. Lovely. Uh, that's five to hit. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna fly in since she's stunned. Um, I would like to, mm, I would like to use my unarmed strike to try to kind try to knock her off of this flying thing. Eat her out of the cup. Like yeah, like I'd like to I'd like to shove her out if that's possible. So yeah, you make a uh, what I have to do. <laughs> say, like a test, shove attack. Say contested, contested, um, contested skill check here. Um, yeah. There's athletics. I think it's the same as grapple. Yeah, so it's... Yep. Now, do I have to do athletics or do I have to do acrobatics? You have to use an athletics check to try to shove her. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna... Now, is that at advantage because she's stunned or I get to do it because she's stunned? You've got bless. Oh, I do? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Peter. Uh, do I get to roll that again or just the once? <laughs> Yay. Uh, you got advantage. This she has no. This is um, going to be a normal athletics check, but she, as stunned, is going to be making her. Okay, so um, you have to be a third. I'm just trying to remember if she can even make it or if she has to do it at disadvantage. So it's the 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 effect is going to come on hers. Um, oh, got it. Got it. Got it. She, got it. Oh, it's a saving throw. So can't move. All right. So uh, whip crack, whip crack, and then a big old. <sighs> Fly and shove, and that is uh, all yeah, my so magic. It's, so at twelve, go ahead and roll. Actually, do roll it at advantage. I was roll it. Okay, okay. Ruling, nope. so. Hey, I. Uh, you make of the rules. I make of the rules. I do not make the rules. I try to apply them, <laughs> and they're complex and difficult sometimes. So go ahead and roll that second one. Let's see what the high is. Twenty-one. Okay. Wow. Twenty-one. With uh, well, I guess the eat her at me. <laughs> hey, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> she has an eight. She's consistent. And I'll give so that. does 18, sorry, but still not enough. No, so she no. does fall and take. That's 40 feet? Yep. 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 I'm so excited. And takes, ooh, a big bunch of damage from it and lands prone on the ground. Mm -hmm. She didn't know he had a flying monk. Yeah. <clears throat> Monkey business, I tell you, folks. Monkey. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Eat that Mima. Just cut him off. Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> Just cut him off. <laughs> Did. All right. Monkey business. Say, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a um, delicious dish you've served up for me, Ryan. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> she lands down on the ground, and it is Claire's turn. Ugh! I couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs> Time to beat that Yeemaw. <laughs> I'm gonna She's kill the lady. Time to beat her. Um, so she's um she's prone and stunned on the ground, so I'm mm -hmm. just gonna rush in over there. And I'm gonna throw on this old lady. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as a bonus action. Um my hex blades curse. Um, so she'll get all sort of silvery with my dragon power um, and attack her with my long sword at advantage. It'd be nice if I rolled well. Oh, a 15. Uh, um, you do have before you, bless. before you do. Oh my God. I have bless. Thank bless, you. And you have your, um, butter inspiration. Right. Uh, thank you. 19. 19 will hit. That sounds, yeah, that sounds good. Um, okay, so we'll do 10 there and I, I'll, I'll throw a first level um, smite into that. Um, any chance she's um, fiend or undead? Your <laughs> the strength of your smite seems normal. Okay. Um, so 21 damage for the first attack. Okay. Um, second attack coming in. Uh, 19 also. Um, so uh, yeah. I'll put another first level smite on that. Go for it. Um, actually, no. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to keep it. So, another 9 damage. 
No, but she also takes extra damage because I forgot that I'd cursed her. Oh my god, my brain. I'm so fucking tired. Um, another eight damage. Okay. So what That's is it. the um, total? What was the... So, sorry. That's okay. Total uh, attacks for me. 21, 9, 38. Ooh. A strong blow. She is starting to look a bit shaken as she... Uh, uh, is prone there on the ground, and um, the hut seems to start jittering around and look extra angry at what is going on. Come at me, house. If it can be, huh? If it can be angry, it will come at you. Who rocks um, the house? Peter rocks the house. Oh my god! <laughs> it will make a couple attacks. We'll have two at. Um, two at the one that is just whacking at the, my friend right now. I have a 22 and a 30. Yeah, that was pit. <laughs> uh, take 34 points of bludgeoning damage on the first attack. Okay. And 39 on the second. Then we have an attack coming at Cyvor as another root <laughs> reaches out to try to crush you. What's the range on that attack? 60 feet. Oh, okay. 22 to hit. Good. Get on you. Get on you. Fair enough. Uh, Fair enough. Doing pretty well for uh, itself on the rolling. Uh, 35 points of bludgeoning damage to Cyvor. Uh, just so the party knows, I'm sitting pretty at one hit point. Wow. <laughs> That's some Wait. interesting information I'll have to take into account. And the hut will um, move over into repositioning to here. Jezwaldo, it's your turn. Well, damn. Um, all right, so Jezwaldo will 5, 10, 15. May I do a athletics check to check to see if I can jump over this little bit of water here? So I don't have to do the difficult um, terrain. I guess I could just five jump. Five feet, uh, you are... What is, your, what is your strength? Do you have a strength of, like, at least... 12. 12? Yeah, yeah, I was going to say at least 12. You can jump Five, over 10, it then, yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30. Am I within range here? Uh, I haven't seen you move yet. Uh, with the, Of the hut, definitely, yes. All right, so I'm going to have to hit the hut. Um, so I'm going to hit it with my rapier. I am hitting AC... Kaboom! 17! AC 17. Oh, uh, and then of course my bl my bless. Uh, yeah. Alright. Hits? Okay, cool. Uh, so I did 22 points of damage. Okay. And I'm going to move... So that was 23. 5, 10, 15... 23, Sean. Thank you, 23. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. Then I'm going to move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... To here, um, I'm not going to risk that attack of opportunity. So that was a bonus action. No, wait, I don't have to do the bonus action disengage, guys. On that, <laughs> so another another thirty feet, five, ten, twenty. So I'm able to get to there. <laughs> wow, that is a heck of a jog. Yep. Where Anything are else? You? I don't see you on the map. <laughs> He's way up here. Uh, he's over Zwaldo here. doesn't oh like Zwaldo. to uh, brag, but he's completed the Iron Man challenge. Like, <laughs> <I> have. <laughs> <laughs> Elimus, you can make a constitution save at the end of your turn. Unfortunately, you are still stunned, my friend. Also blessed, though. Oh, 15. Still stunned, unfortunately. Um. Maris. All right. <clears throat> so Maris sees Claire looking pretty beat up. Um, but she is so far from me. So, no, the, let me see. Beep, boop, bop. Everyone that I want to help is so far from me. 
so I'm going to just go ahead and take as much movement as I can to try to get close to my friendos. So one, two, three, four, five, six, beep, beep, pop. Um, I'm like now next to the house. Okay. And I know that it is not ideal, but just to get Claire some of her hit points back, I will cast Healing Word at level five. Okay, go ahead and roll those dice. Uh, that is a bonus action. Anything you wish to do with your um, action? I take full healing on that. Because oh, yeah, I'm you dragon. do. So what's okay. the max damage? 24, it looks okay, like. Uh, yeah, and while I am near to the Baba Yaga's hut, mm -hmm. I'm uh, going to take my Mace of Disruption and hit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go Got for it. Remodel. Roll that attack. Yeah. The thigh bone of St. Markovia. By the way. <laughs> uh, sadly, so I rolled a 12. Yeah. Roots are just not... Uh, bless. Um, bless. Are... Oh, bless. I also have bless. <laughs> bless. 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 bless and flanking. Bless and flanking. No flanking. What? Flanking. Yeah, that is house bless. rule. Blood oh. flank. <laughs> okay, so Long this is... A question for me because I have never blessed myself prior uh -huh. to this day. <laughs> so, how does that play out? We roll a d4 okay. and add it to that attack roll. Great. Okay, rolling the dice, rolling the dice, hot dice, hot dice. Three. Fifteen? Not quite enough still, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. As the can. roots are just too thick unnaturally steely and sinewy um, hardwood. So, yeah. That's Anything else from Eris? I think that's probably about it for you. Some hardwood. Here comes oh, the pain. She, uh, for some reason, just like takes a hand and like pats the side stunned. of Papa the leggy. Is right now. I think we're all very happy that she's stunned. I think you should be. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Incapacitated. Yep. She is stunned. Aww. Super fun. Athelflaed, you're up. Uh, I would like Eat to. Eat the old lady. You're a tiny bit quiet. I don't know if very Eat quiet. Eat the old lady. I could actually be at my mic. That would help. That um, would help. Yes. I will cast Healing Spirit and get Commander Peepers out here. All right. Still the... quiet, Teresa. Still a lot quieter than usual. What? What? What kind of animal is Peepers again? Red panda. <laughs> it's a red, red panda. panda. Oh yeah. Red panda. Red panda. <laughs> I don't have a uh, um one of those. Do you have prepared, a raccoon. I quit. I love that Peepers I has made its not. way into this game. <laughs> but I'll make a nice, pretty little circle where your spirit is. Uh, who are you casting it atop? Me. Yourself? Me. Okay. For this round. Um, gotcha. Which yes. Oh, were you damaged to start this? Yes. Yes. That is your bonus action. Bonus action. Just casting that now. You could also... To get its first heal, if you cast it next to you and then step into it, you would get your first d6. Hey, okay. hey, let's do that. Yep. <laughs> that does really sucky roll. Thank you. You Thank heal you. yourself. And I managed to roll it twice on accident, so. Um, yeah, be sure to announce your rolls, everybody. Yeah, so. So you heal for, oh yeah, you heal for two hit points. I heal for two hit points. Yay, go me. Um... Hooray. And then I will turn around and shoot my bow twice at the house again. Twice at the house again. And I would like to use my bless on that 14. Mm -hmm. That's a d4. So that's an 18 and a 27. Uh, Both hit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yay. 17 damage. Very nice. Uh -huh. And your hunter's mark. 
no nope, hunter's mark. Yeah, uh, concentrating on the spirit. I wish. Cool. <laughs> Anything else for you? Nope. That's that's it for me. Cool. All right, Akanta. All right, we are going to try this whirlwind thing again, since I'm still over her. Uh, you would have to descend about 40 feet down to do it. Um, probably repositioning yourself about there so you don't whirlwind your allies. Also, roll a d6 to see if it recharges. Hopefully that will pop up. Okay, custom roll that is a six. It recharges. Oh, good, it popped up. That's a bit of luck. Yeah. <laughs> Eat her again. Eat always... Elementals off. actually recharge 50% of the time. It's a four through six recharge. Oh. Eat yeah. again. Eat again. Eat. All right. Let's eat, eat that. Mima. So she is stunned <laughs> and automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. So fly, <laughs> fly all the way up and then drop her again. Uh, not quite um, how it works. So, all right, guys, we're going to do a little bit of a uh, hands of the clock thing, right? I'm going to roll a d12, and we're going to see where she goes. Does that make sense? So I'm I like gonna, it. The direction is going to be somewhere. <laughs> somewhere out there. Okay. Oh. Fortunate for her, it's, it's two o'clock. So it's two o'clock. Did you eat your Mima? <laughs> it's two o'clock. <laughs> you eated your Mima. She is flung to here. She is eaten. And lies to prone there. still take and takes the full twenty-one damage Ooh. and takes an extra two, I believe. Uh, did, what was her DC? Seventeen plus four. She fails automatically. She's stunned. Um, yeah, she failed already, so. She's taking that 21 points of damage. On a failure. And the, uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's three blood. Roll an extra d6, because she's flung. <laughs> she's flung 20 feet, so. I'll take it. One more damage. No. <laughs> It'll work. So I'll just. Ladies and gentlemen, and for your amusement and amazement, the flying Mimas! <laughs> <laughs> you do see this robed body just kind of go ragdoll out of Akantha's. Um, I'm reminded whirlwind. of Willow, the fight between the, the uh, oh witches at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and then kind of rolls across the swampy ground. Uh, I'm also thinking of really, really bad, like, bot game physics where, like, you know, the the ragdoll physics just yes. goes all like... Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, <laughs> Peter, just yep. looking at her uh, roll, it's got both the damages in there. It's got the bludgeoning yep. damage, and then it's got the the D6 already, hasn't it? It's, uh, it's a D6 for every uh, oh, 10 feet yeah. it's thrown, so yeah, yeah. it did an extra D6. I gave you the choice of aiding me. Willingly, Jade, but you have elected the way of. <laughs> I didn't know. I just went exactly. to make sure it was right. Cool. Was <laughs> that brings us to Cyvor. Fantastic. Time to beat that Yima. So I'm going to go ahead <laughs> and uh, fly over to here, land, and. <laughs> proceed to beat the hell out of this old lady. Just say anything before you like. May I help you with that, ma'am? Here comes the wood. <laughs> uh, 20 to hit? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Great, that'll be uh, 10 uh, slashing damage on that. All right. And then uh, I'm going to burn a key point to do a stunning strike on her yet again to try to keep this prone lady down. So She's uh, fallen. She can't get up. <laughs> she can't get up. Oh, and I she can't, can't get, get up. Oh, no. That <laughs> can't say. This time I have a uh, 18. 18. Okay. Eight, 18 will do it. 
All right, and then I'm uh, gonna go ahead and attack with the short sword. Oh, I keep not doing advantage, and I'm a fool, a fool of a toque. If it, all of it. Uh, 27 to hit. Sure is gonna hit. <laughs> all right, all right. That is nine. Okay. And then uh, I'm gonna take. Oh, I'm gonna burn my last key point. See if I can't get her to stun. All right. 14. And she's stunned. Hey! All right, all right. So it's it is. It's getting better and better. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, so she's now stunned until my next turn. So we have one more round of her being stunned, everybody. So oh, beat this old lady delicious. to death. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to take my bonus action to actually uh, get my second wind, because that last whip attack really sucked. Um, so I'll use the D10 and cover. Oh, yay! 12 hit points. Good job. Nice. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to take uh, the rest of my movement to fly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 up to here and bring myself back up in the air. And I'm going to start to pull my musket out and get it ready. So. All right. And that's my turn. How far, uh, how far up are you? Oh. Uh, Just curious. Yeah, right? So. Parab so, how, mm, if I fly, so if I just fly straight, I guess I can just fly straight up in the air then. I'm, I'm just curious for how how f much you're hovering here. So right, um, I would say I'm thirty feet up in the air. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. You're up. All right. Um, I don't relish the idea of getting stomped on as I walk away from this house. So um, with a blurring of silver energies, I'm going to misty step my way to the other side of Mima. Okay. Um, and then, and then attack her. At advantage. With my monster. Uh, 21. Twenty-one hits. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's toss a smite in there at level one. Because why not? So we got that plus. Oh, that was the only one. Silly me. Have another one. Okay, so uh, 22 damage on the first hit. Okay. And I'll hit her again. Um, I'm going to put a. Uh, plus. On that on that. And, and I'm going to put my other thing on there uh, for uh, 20. Okay, that'll hit. 20 hits. And I'm going to throw oh. another smite on there. Burn through all my spell slots, because why not? Um, and another 12 damage total. So that was 34 I got the first attack, so another 12. Total. Okay. Yeah. She is looking quite rough as you see the paladin just bringing her sword to yeah. bear twice down on this old woman who is yeah. just petrified on the ground Any hex as, as i'm stabbing at her i'm just like if you're the one that made strahd what he is you've got another thing coming <laughs> and then oh, hex, hex, hex damage. damage oh fuck another eight damage <laughs> all right hmm the if it has some way of looking at you the hut seems to the one wailing on its maker so, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I have a. Let's see. First attack is going to be a. Oof, 29. Yeah. For 25 Wait, I points. It, I assume you're from all the way over there? Wait, yeah. who's. A root uh, oh goes into God. the ground and <laughs> comes up and. Um, so, uh, how, how many uh, damages? 25. And, uh, zero. You're not at zero, okay. I just hit zero. Oh, just hit zero. Oh, yeah. That's dying. Yep. I'm uh, bleeding out, guys. No! I've got a natural 20 versus Cyvor for a total of 48 points of damage. Rat, rat. Wait, so that was a, like a critical hit there? Critical hit. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh. So I am now plummeting to the earth. All right. 
We fail one death save, and we will make an attack versus the air elemental. Uh, I have an 18 to hit air elemental for 28 points of damage. Which is yeah, for, hard. totally for fine. You've got a Proxima, whole pool of hit points there. Our arcane elder abuse. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Jaswaldo, you see two massive roots come and one after another hit your ally. One of them falls. Another one just hits Sivor midair and he plummets to the ground like a heavy sack of monk. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I run up and I look down at Claire and I pull out my rapier and I look at this woman and I say, this is for making a limus sing. <laughs> and I stab her. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Make the attack roll at advantage. Alright, so that is a 12. I'll roll another. Eighteen plus the four for Don't plus. need to roll it. Go ahead and roll your roll. Okay. damage there. So the damage there is do you want to use the first one or the second? Um, let's see. It doesn't matter. Oh. Um, she is there, helpless, beneath um, your sword. The so I just come. I see that she's Saga. she's about dead, and I come over mm -hmm. and I just just put the rapier just right right through her throat and kneel down next to Claire, and I yell, "Merci to Cyborg! I've got Claire." Okay. You guys see the sword plunge, and just without any sort of fanfare, the body seems to go limp, but. The house is still going berserk. The greenish light within seeming to sparkle and um, grow even brighter. Now, Alimus, you can repeat your saving throw again. Sorry, bud. Blessed. I'm feeling lucky, sorry. Uh, Are you rerolling it? Yeah. Okay. It's one of the things you forget. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't think. Less? I, I mean, I will, I will do that. How many times can you use 16 enough? If not, I'm going to use lucky for my last time. Oh. Uh, I think it's once per roll. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. No, <sighs> you're one short of the DC. <laughs> It's all right. He'll, there are other ways to help Elimus. You see him just after having been um, sort of uh, taken over by this powerful spell. You see him just sitting there, frozen, petrified, almost unable to move. Um, his turn comes to an end. Maris. Okay, so I would like to cast Mass Cure Wounds. That'll work too. Um, so I will head out to about here and anybody within so I can it looks like anybody within a 30 foot radius from yep. where I place it will be affected right yes right so I will cast it to help. I am outside of that 30 foot radius if that matters to you from matters. where she puts it not where she stands from where oh, okay. I put the sphere yeah. yeah so I'll put the sphere Right between them, if possible. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. Um, and I will. I hate to be that guy. Optech. Well, I mean, fair enough. If that's the way it goes, that's the way. It when goes, she moves but... there, um, it does not take a it does not take an attack of opportunity. All right. Um, it's uh, th what are the dice? Uh, three d eight plus mm -hmm. four. Okay. Yeah. I get max on that then. Yeah. Twenty-eight healing. It looks like. Oh, back to full. And Cyvor, you are alive with twenty-two. You are healed. So. Very cool, Maris. That is your action. Yep. Uh, I don't think you have a bonus action to use. So. I do not. We go on to Athelflaed. Uh... It's like. Ah, uh, wow! Good one, Maris. 
Ah! And she just makes that noise and looks over at Elimus <laughs> and turns to face you, him. Guess you don't need Commander Peepers. I will keep him to myself. Um, is the the tiny gold aura that's me and Commander Peepers? I don't yep. see me. As you start your turn there, sorry. Oh, I'm. Um, you uh, regain your you you get your healing from the spell. As you start your turn within its healing energy, so yes. go ahead and roll that. 2d6. Oop, 2d6, I say. So, 8 total healing on that. Thank you. All right. And then I would like to move just a little bit away. Mm. Yes, I will move over to here, just near the rocks, and then I will fire my bow twice at the house. All right, go ahead and make your decks. <laughs> and then I guess I will use one bless on on the first one. So I got a 14 and an eight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but neither of those are going to hit it. Um, you rolled damage. You didn't roll attacks, so I just realized. Oh my god. Wow. <clears throat> Let's try that again. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think you can roll an 8 with your attack modifier. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, both of those will that's, hit. That's what I was saying. Let's go ahead wow. and use that damage you just rolled. <laughs> okay, cool. So Since we're already 12 there. And an eight. <laughs> 12 and an 8. 20 points of damage. Oh god. Very I know cool. how to use this. <laughs> Um, can you do something with your spirit? Just a little hint, I think. Um, you can move it as on as a bonus action on your turn, if you wish, to have it continue with you or heal someone else. You can only move um, it 30 feet, though. Yeah, the 30 feet is the kicker. Uh, for right now, I will just have Commander Peepers with me. All right. The um, little cute little red panda um, scampers after you and then um, runs up and kind of curls around your neck with nice... It's like a wonderful heating pad around your shoulders, you know, just it's, cutting it's the, uh, healing you and cutting through the astral red panda to yeah. match my demon goat. There you go. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Akantha. All right, so let's try my slam attacks this time. Oh. Ooh. And Nah, that, no. I get two, so the first one did not hit. Be sure okay. to say, be sure to call it what you rolled, everybody. The yep. people watching at home. So there's a natural one for the first slam will not hit. And one more time. That is a 26 to hit. Yeah. That's much better. That'll do it. Awesome, that does 17 damage. Okay. Anything else for error, Akantha? <laughs> that will be it. Please cool. remember to buckle up. Did she remember to roll her d6 to see if she got Whirlwind back? I uh, know. That's a good catch. I may want that. Can she eat Whirlwind? No whirlwind this turn. Car says. See next. Cyvor, it is your turn. All right. So after like being slammed to the earth, he comes back up. And he's like, it's as if like the little res resuscitation. <laughs> oh God, I hate dying. All right. So uh, then, so he, can I see the green from like, Peter is the house on top of the roots. Like, can I? It is. Fly? It's a, it's very much how it looks. Fantastic. So he's going to fly into the house going for the green gem. Okay. You so enter I, the house. I'm not sure what that... What, <laughs> tell me what happens. <laughs> um, Terrible choices. So, the, immediately what you see is... If you give me just a moment. Inside, you see this green light is sort of cascading everywhere. You will need to use an action to try to locate the exact source of it. But 
Immediately what you see is a wooden floor, this green light cascading all over, and a ghastly wooden crib. There seems to be something occupying this crib as well within the hut in the very center. Okay. Good choices. So, uh, and, and like, what's that? Good choices. Good choices. All right, so can I bonus action to attack the crib? Um, you could, yeah. Uh, not you bonus make, action. You can no, use you an action to, to yeah. attack the crib if you would like. Well, so you said that I had to use an action to like look around. I wasn't sure if that was my action. If oh. you're gonna try and pinpoint like where's the gem, where's the gem, if there's a gem in here, then that would be your action to use a perception check or an investigation check. If you want to just attack the crib that you see in front of you, you're welcome to do that too. I mean. First yeah. instinct. So we're getting old people, and now we're now we're attacking babies. Oh yeah, no. I said we, we hey, we do not discriminate. We will beat <laughs> on both old, the elderly and children. We're okay. equal opportunity. All right. Equal so yeah, I would, like to, eaters. I would like to attack the crib. <laughs> okay, you run up to the crib, and as you get there, you see in it is this sweet, angelic-looking little child wrapped in, uh, in clean cloth. Go ahead and make your attack. Jesus. Okay, I fire my musket. Really? <laughs> oh my He's god! He's committed. He's committed. We don't know. <laughs> and oh, okay. With the so with the eight, and then let's see here. Here's the bless, god. which is a three. So an eleven. Okay. <laughs> so it's an inanimate object, and it would oh god fire your musket, and you oh, wince against. You think, whoa, I don't know what's. And you look and it seems like nothing's happened. The child just kind of sits there with bright eyes looking up at you and you see the bullet has impacted on the floor behind it. But you're pretty sure you hit it. It's almost as if it passed straight through whatever this crib was. Well, part of me is really glad about that. Okay. Okay. Um, so then uh, that, was, uh, that was my attack action. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use... My bonus action then to can I grab the kid or try to reach out and like basically grapple, but I don't know if that's an action to do that. Um, no, you already used your attack action with your um, with your musket. I don't believe it qualifies as a Kensei weapon for a uh, for a bonus action follow up. No, you um, you want you want you can move up to it though, and um, that's okay, okay, where your action economy ends. I okay, believe. cool. So then I'm I will be done with my action economy then. Cool. Clear, you wake up. Oh, oh my God. Uh, this life and death yo-yoing, it's not fun. Um, here's a question for you, Peter. Um, what, would it be possible for me to step up close enough after standing to misty step into the hut? Let's measure. I'm, I'm not sure what the distances here exactly are. Your misty step is 30 feet, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so now if I stand, I can get to 50. Get 30 feet here, and then get up to the, yeah, you can get yeah. up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stand, give Deswaldo a pat <laughs> on the shoulders. I <laughs> walk away, <laughs> and then I'm gonna um, go poof and uh, be standing uh, next to Cyborg. I love this team. I just shot a baby. <laughs> I... Okay, yes, and you now see in the interior of the hut, um, you know, there are what you would expect from a similar hut in a place like this owned by, there are, um, seems to be spots for rituals. There is some type of um, tub um, in the corner. There are some shelves and stuff with vials, potions, and blah, 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 chairs. But the main feature is in the very center is this crib with this angelic little child looking at you with wide blue eyes. He's not real. Um, or he's just immune to bullets. <laughs> um, I guess I will spend my turn trying to find this gem thing. Maybe it is the baby, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, make a um, investigation or perception check. Hmm, what sucks less? <laughs> um, perception. That's par for the course. With the bless? <laughs> I, oh, I went eight. Eight. 
unfortunately you it's not a high dc at all but you're not sure yeah i will I'm say really as confident. you spend your turn looking around this light is kind of cascading everywhere and it seems to be coming up through the floorboards okay the specific location though i can't give you on an eight of perception okay does it look like there is a descent into Avernus? No. Um, like I don't know a, what you mean by a descent. <laughs> like a like a stairwell or some some way. It, like no, no, no. It's just move. it's just floor even floorboards across the hut. It's about twenty feet square only, and but and the light is kind of emanating up between the old floorboards. Okay. Look over at Cyborg. Down. <laughs> Yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> okay. Hut's turn. Bye, everybody. Um, you will see two roots reach into the doors. You are inside my head. Do not like it. Against uh, Claire, I have a 14... And things might be turning around. Uh, and 21 against Cyvor. Yeah, um, does that hit Cyvor? All right. Cyvor, that's coming at you for a um, 26 points of bludgeoning damage. Knocks you on the side of the head. So you go ahead and say down, and then Cyvor goes down. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, you see... My yes. powers of prediction are immense. <laughs> um, who's been harassing me? Athelflaed has been pumping me full of arrows, so I will oh, attack. I killed Baba Lisaga. You did. What? You're right. So we're coming at you then. Good point. 27 Not to hit. That is going to hit no matter what I do. 32 points of bludgeoning damage. Wow. Uh, I will use uncanny dodge to put that at what? 15? 16? 16. 16. And it will move a bit to here. Uh, Maris, you see the um, heavy <laughs> um, uh, legs are almost coming down on top of your head, but not quite. Which brings us to Jeswaldo's turn. Uh, heroism falls. It didn't you still even look get plenty to, heroic. I didn't even get to use the hit points. Um, I will spare a glance for Baba Lisaga. Does she look dead? Yes. Head is lulled to the side. You have nearly cleaved it from her body with the stab of the rapier. All right. Um, that I am going to... Will it be possible to get on top of the house? Yes. Um, you will need to um, essentially make a grapple check to grab onto its moving legs to grapple the creature and then move onto it. And then well, on. I don't like that. Um, all right. I'm going to use my action um, and acrobatics my way into the house. Okay. Um, do you need, would that be my, would that be my, you have a climb speed? You would I don't have you? a climb speed. Okay. Well, I need to know, I, well, I want to know, is it, will it be possible for me using my movement, my bonus action movement, and will it be possible for me to get in the house and still have an action left to investigate? Um, so it's a 30 foot climb, which okay. unless you have a climb speed will take no. 30 feet of movement. And, um, after a difficult, a thirty foot climb, it would take it would take uh, sixty points of movement. Difficult, it would, it's climbing without a climb speed is right difficult terrain. So, that's a big old no. All right, I'm gonna just run up to the housing. Stop it. Okay. This is so weird. And I go running <laughs> up and just, how about you? It uh, doesn't feel right. <laughs> hey, stab it. It doesn't scream the when I natural one. It. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's uh, so bad for that rogues. wasn't right at all. Oh, uh, God. And I just want uh, 
I, I picture the rapier like bending, <laughs> you <don't do> <laughs> bouncing <Holy>. back. <laughs> that, uh, oh my God. I'm gonna go run back and reassess. Okay, it's got to be a better way. Oh, but before I do, I will bonus action bardic inspiration, Alimus. Alimus, get in this fucking fight! <laughs> and I run back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then it's Alimus' turn. Um, I've got to roll a one now. That is my last bardic inspiration. Come on, Alimus, you got this. It's going to be a natural 20. No pressure. Told you. Oh, I, my I called God. it. What I'm, the fuck? I'm going to use you lucky did. anyway, but I called that. <laughs> oh my god. Using your what, last, is what is it with last? this no, 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 group no. and roots? I've got two luckies left. The, <laughs> it's other, true. the other one was used okay. in a dream. I got you. Um, this is probably going to be a natural one as well. No. Uh, natural two. Uh, oh but I'm gonna, I will what use the fuck? A C4, and depending on this. Three, was that 10? And did you give me a D6? Gave you a D6. I, I think it has to be 17 or higher. Oh, is it 17 or higher? Okay, so yep. It's a 17 <laughs> save. <laughs> based on what you've rolled in the past. So yeah, don't use it. There are other ways. Some of you might have ways of helping him, but maybe not. No, I'll just throw that out there. Because I'm just like slap. As we come to Maris's turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I Less rest, like... less rest, less rest. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I hear a weird sound. Is it just Waldo? <laughs> Who is it? He's another speaking thing. in tongues. He's speaking in tongues. He's speaking in tongues. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, yeah. So, shit. I just had it. Now it's gone. Okay. So, beep boop bop. So, who am I? Who am I going at with lesser rest, though? Oh, you know. So lame is <laughs> great. So that is what I shall do. I shall less arrest Alimus. It is a touch spell, right? Well, that's the thing. Is it's a touch spell. How close can I get to him? I can't get to him. He's 40 feet away. Right. So instead of that... <laughs> you could have... You could hold your action for it and have Athelflaed drag him to into range, but that will be... Have uh, eat him. That will be yeah. a lot of action economy to get him out of it. So right. just, maybe just move in that direction. Just so, bone it. Yeah. So my my first plan was this, because I want to take this friggin' haunted treehouse out. Um and I think like the best way to do that would be to cast or to use um the Radiance of the Dawn. Is that because that won't hurt anyone in the house because they are not hostile to me? Okay. Yeah. You can use Radiance of the Dawn. Great. I believe it makes a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Kind of good at these. Uh, but it has a fourteen. Ah. Um, and I will use my bless on that. Uh, it does not affect that, so it's God a save versus. Damn itself. it! Go ahead, roll 2d10 and add your cleric level. Okay. Uh, damage. 11. God damn it! Oh, it's 11? Yeah. Okay. What? Well, oh. Isn't it plus your cleric yeah. level? So it's 11. What well, is plus, plus 10, my. So 21. Yeah, 21. Why is it plus. Be. That's not calculating, right? Yeah, it only yeah, rolled the 2d10. I noticed that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Then What's plus it? my, so 21. So 21 points of damage. Cool. Ah, okay. shit, Maris. And are you going to move or? Yeah, oh, I'm definitely going to move. Fear not. <laughs> um, And so I will get as close as I can to Elimus, which if I go underneath the house, is that going to take, because I'd have to navigate around the leggies. You can navigate around, navigate. You can navigate around but going through it would um, count just as difficult terrain to try to sure. bob and weave under okay. the. Um, so, one. David Gate. Could I get like about here next to? Yeah, looks apple or no? That seems right. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, and then for my bonus action, can I still get a bonus action? 
Yep, you did Great. not cast a spell, so. Um, let me see. I don't know, actually, if that's useful. I don't think it's useful. Never mind. Just kidding. Okay, just kidding. Bonus action. All right. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I believe you get okay. the last instance of your healing at the start of your turn. Yes. 2d6 for my commander peepers. I say again. Mm hmm. Cool. And then Proxima. what do we do? Uh, welcome. It only was one that's annoying. Welcome, Proxima 3055. Cool. Oh my God. Oh. All right. No critical failures, only critical opportunities. Good one. Or missed opportunities. <laughs> Am I right, you guys? <laughs> Um, so two points of healing, and then your spell ends, I believe. Uh, it heals a number of times equal to your casting modifier, which is your wisdom, correct? Yeah, but... <laughs> what is your wisdom score? Well, it's plus three is my mod plus... One plus your casting ability mod, oh. so it's one more. You get one more. I apologize. How dare you. Ha <laughs> ha. And then... Because I'm right there, you know I'm going to fire my longbow twice. I almost fired my rapier twice, which would have been interesting. Um, do, do 31 and 22 hit? Both do hit. Yay! So that's then going to be a 9 and an 8. Points. All yeah. right. Cool. Anything else for your turn? Um, no. No. Whirlwind Akantha. Roll a d6. Roll my d6. That is a three. Boo. Sorry, no whirlwind. <laughs> Oddly enough, there's no size restriction for her whirlwind. Whirlwind. <laughs> really? No. <Yeah. laughs> wow. She could. So if that happened, would we get yeeted with it? Mm -hmm. She could have Dorothy galed this little house. I know. I was looking forward to it. <laughs> Cyber and I are going to Neverland. Right, was, I'm going to keep off my slam show. Like, <laughs> All right. I'm so tired, guys. Uh, 14. Bless. To hit. Blessy, blessy. Uh, roll the bless. Uh, my goodness. Sorry, I have 100,000 things pulled up. You're good. That's a d4, right? Yeah. That'll do it. Eleven Game bludgeoning. Less. Second attack coming in at what do we got? Sorry, that was a random. <laughs> nature check. Think it's got legs. <laughs> Ignore the nature check. I, I know I'm in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing is made of wood. <laughs> Twenty will hit for fifteen more. Anything else for Akantha? That is it. I'm just going to keep wailing on that thing. Cyborg, make a death saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, that is just a straight up con save, right? It's a d20. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you think with the amount of times I'm dying on this thing. Bless, however, also applies. Mm hmm. Well, roll a 16 out the All gate. All right. That is a oh. success. Hooray. Claire, it's your turn. Look, you went down in another game, Ryan. Huh. Ooh. Huh. Ooh. Um, I'm going to um, pull a potion out of my pack and reach down and um, feed it to your cyborg. All um, right. So it's a greater healing potion. Ooh. So um, have ye uh, 44 plus 4 hit points. Who rolls? Who rolls it? Am oh, I rolling that? Who's rolling? <laughs> Whoever's roll doing it. it, go ahead. It may. Do the thing. Uh, nine nine points. plus four is thirteen. Thirteen. Hooray! Um. And can I use some of my movement to pull him up? Is that a thing I can do? Um. It would not be part of your movement. Oh. Yeah, right. I went down again, didn't I? Yep, yep. It's okay, kiddo. Sorry. Um, 
don't have to apologize. Um, well, that was an action. So, I don't really have battle gels that I can do. Um. Keep waiting for this thing to take a reaction. It's really freaking me out. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of tapped out. Um, is it attack? So, when it was attacking us, it was, like, attacking us through, like, the windows, right? Yeah, it reached in the door and, boop. Knocked him in the Can head. Can I like I get some cover or something? Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Can I like get some cover somewhere? Um, you could try to hide from it. Yeah, you could try to hunker down behind something. I suppose. Yeah, I can't like actually take a hide action, but I just want to like put have some interposing action here. You know. Okay. So wherever you think that is, imagine us laying like flat up against a wall, and it's just like, Meh, all right, Meh. there's not a lot. You can kind of like it. duck behind a chair, and that's about it. So. Sure. It won't notice we're in its head. Uh, yeah, yeah. You think? Well, we're gonna I don't think it would out. mind. Oh boy, it is going to reach in once. Did with you say root. wooden mind? Ah, yeah. solid joke right there. Um, eighteen <laughs> right. hit you. Uh, it's clear. ingrained. 18, you said? Thank yes. you. No, it doesn't. Well, we'll pretend it was the chair that did that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do an attack again. Let's see. You burned me. I don't like that. Maris, take a 25 to hit for 27 points of bludgeoning damage. Please make a constitution saving throw for your concentration. And Jaswaldo, I have a 26 to hit. Can you? Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything about the twenty-six. So I will uncanny dodge this. <laughs> oh god! All right. So Less you has will. Gone down. You can Less have the out, guys. thirty-six to eighteen. Now here's a question. Damn. She is blessed. So does bless add on to that? Yeah. Can she bless yep. the con save? So she, she can get to ten. Not gonna get close to half. <laughs> How much damage did she take? Twenty-six. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. she's a roll 13. 13. Got it. How much damage total am I having? 36. 36. Thank you. Wait, so and I also how is was that my total damage, the number you just listed, or was there more? 26 was the total. Great. Okay, thanks. Your turn, Jaswaldo. All right. Oh no, I ran too far last time. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, it's all right. Um, bonus action, move the extra five. I make the attack with a rapier. Uh, hitting AC 18. Yeah, that hits. For 27. Okay. Um, and then because I hit it and I'm me, I am able to... Uh, Dance away. Not that it matters. The range this thing has. So let's see, that was 30. So I'm at 35. <laughs> I'm going to use the rest of my movement. So I have um, 25 left. So I'm going to use the rest of it to climb 10 feet up it. Okay. And then my bonus action move to continue another 10, to continue another um, 15 feet up. Okay. So that is 25, so I'm five feet away from being inside it. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, Elimus. <laughs> you end oh! your turn no longer stunned. Oh. You did right. it, Elimus. Hooray. Maris, you're up. <laughs> okay. So I am now close enough, right, for less rest. If I go and I take this he doesn't need it movement. anymore. He's he's not... now, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm furious, but I'm pretty furious. <laughs> Deal as much damage to this thing as you possibly can. Well, Run back and I hit it with your bone. Thing. Okay, yeah. I'm a run back. <laughs> You're the thigh master. And I'm the thigh master. So I'm gonna hit it with my cutie little bone. 
Um, so actually, I don't know that that is like the most damage that I can you do. You might it. have some tasty spells. Don't you have like, That's what I was, or something? Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna light this shit up. So <laughs> what I will do instead of hitting it with that cutie little bone is cast Scorching Ray at level four. So I can hit it so many times. Pew, 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 pew. Go ahead. <laughs> Five rays. <laughs> Beep, boop, bop. 27. Hits. It's the first Go ahead one. and roll all five. Dopey dope, 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 dope. Two. Dope, 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 dope. Dope. Three, four, five. Dope, 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 and 13 are going to miss. Just a little sample of what we did last week, folks. Just a little. In case you missed it. 16 just barely hits, so we've got 28 points of damage. Okay. Nice. As you leave a giant scorch mark in the side of it. Cool. You s smell this sort of musty, rotten wood burning away. So, yeah. anything else from Eris? Yeah. I think that's probably it. That is, that's it. Athelflaed. Um, question. Can yep. I bonus, can I take the healing the final healing from Commander Peepers, and then can I bonus action cast it again? Yes. Okay, then that's what I will do. I will do 2d6 for my healing, which I got an 11, okay. thank God, after all those twos. Um, and then I would like to recast at level two, healing spirit. And as long as you step into it this turn, you gain another four points of healing. Yes, so that will not be for me that time. I am within the right distance to cast that. I'd like to cast it under the house so that it's hitting, it should hit both Claire and Five Simon. foot cube. Uh, poop on a poop. Can I cast it in the house? Um, like You cannot see into the house from that range. If you get if you can move to here, then I will say yes. That that is what I shall do. I shall move to here, and I shall. I would like to cast it so that it hits both of them on their next turns. Okay, you can choose Cyber or Claire. Um, but it'll Who's hit both Claire? of them with the five foot. I will do Claire. Okay. Claire. With Commander Peepers to Claire. Oh, all how, right. uh, how many dice is that? It's going to be 1d6. 1d6. Okay. So D6. I, okay. I set, get six then. Akantha, it's your turn. Um, Oh, Cyborg's now <laughs> living again. That's right. So, okay. <laughs> nice of you to remember. Wait. Do I not get a... Oh, you get an attack. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> like, wait a second. Um, and I want to be a little. Yeah, I will use my bow at disadvantage because I'm so freaking close. You had to get around to the front of it to be able to see in the door to be able to put your healing spirit all the way up into there. So, well, Ain't that's gonna hit the first Robin House Party because Robin House Party will kill you. Squish. First batch of 12, what's the second attack? Yeah. I hate that I can't do disadvantage on my computer. <gasps> oh. That's so unfair, I get I a nat 20 at dis. I'm sorry. No. Okay. No. I just think oh, it's but the other one was 30, so. 30, yeah, 32 <laughs> <Yeah>, I know. <laughs> <laughs> These <laughs> rolls are just it's such <laughs> bad rolls tonight for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now it's a this turn. Okay. Big air elemental. Yes. So Are you going to try and roll your thing? I did. It's uh, four. You have it back. Unless I need to roll it again. Let's roll it again. Yes! <laughs> you have your rolling. Did it, 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 did
No, no, Dice, tell a story. I Dice heard Hundo oh P. Oh my god. I heard Hundo P. <laughs> Hundo P. Oh. Um, I hope my well 1d6 helps machine. you guys. <laughs> Here we go. Holding on. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She um, came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, uh, so Claire and Cyvor and Waldo make a strength saving throw. Oh boy. Okay. Um, hey, y'all, Claire. or at least Cyvor has plus four. I was like, Claire? Oh my god. Uh, uh, may maybe, oh, maybe I'm five Claire? feet away just on the other side of the wall? Claire, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening, Claire? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I'm, yes. I'm, that's really in good. In character, I'm making a grab for Cyborg, even though that like doesn't actually affect you're, you're doing the, you're doing in character, the mom, I'm making a grab side. for Claire. <laughs> and that is totally side. in character. Huh? <laughs> so this is interesting. <laughs> Don't ever let go, Claire. The, the, uh, let go. the house fell. What it? is happening? The house fell. It has an enormous strength, but it rolled a 12. Uh, oh. Just fails. <laughs> it fails. Yeet <laughs> that house! Yeet that <laughs> house! Oh my god, that this is Mima's my favorite house. part of it. Two. <laughs> um, let me pull up the result. <laughs> it's gonna uh, land on me, isn't it? It's gonna, yes, it's gonna it land is. on me. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Um, all right. Oh Elimus, please make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh my god, really? Still... I, guess. I don't want to. I think I might just let this happen and see how it no, changes the deal no. with <laughs> Make the save. <laughs> oh my god. You might <laughs> fail. Oh my god. Oh I will my use my god. last oh my hero god. point that would to be negate a that. That will be a number one. Who jinxed it? It's going to be a two. It's going to be a two. Shut up. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. What do you oh. mean? Oh. Alimus comes oh, to his... And exactly. he cartwheels out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Magically cartwheels. No, he does that, like, Buster Keaton thing where, like, oh. the window just, like, lands right on top of him. <laughs> yes. He's just standing there next to Claire and I, like, what happened? <laughs> so all of you um, <laughs> either attached or um, inside... Take the uh, either you all succeeded, so 18, <laughs> or you take the nine uh, points of um, oh, sorry, six halved plus what? Uh, three D's. I'm just trying to follow along. Yeah, I, I'm just, I, know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> you take I'll take six points of bludgeoning damage, okay, okay, um, except for Elimus, who takes an extra what. It landed on top of you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I'd go out of the way. You're taking half of it. You're Did taking half. Oh. How much is half? It's better than whole. You take a uh, extra. Uh, this is generous too, by the way. Um, half you, of another guys. twenty-five. So, so what do I take in total? Uh, Twelve so, and six. So fifteen points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, okay. If if you kill him because of you know my covid brain i'm gonna be fired from twitter so please don't kill him okay but this was the best thing that ever I happened yeah no i feel like <laughs> choice. It was the the best choice. this is uprooted by this uh these uh. winds and goes ooh, careening over as a limus um Amazing. you just look at i looked to a i took one damage i looked to a canther and pulled a splinter out ooh. of my hand <laughs> Oh, because oh. of the um, because of the temporary hit points. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's the only reason why I'm still here too. Yeah. Cyborg, you are. It's your turn. Great. Um, is the house? Uh, it. Are, are, like so, are we able to still move about the house as normal, or is? Does does he get Commander Peepers one d six? Oh no, I thought that was on Claire. But it has a fi It has a radius. Healing spirit. Uh, Doesn't it? Am I misremembering so, my own spell that I am talking about? No. So it but is. But I'm hugging Cyborg, so technically he's in my space. Right. You have to choose one <laughs> with one of the spaces that one of the people space. occupies um, <laughs> to do it. Oh, it's only one. All right. I'm gonna mm -hmm. take a. I want to take a perception check. Uh, DM. Cyborg can. 
in his turn walk into it and receive the healing. Because he's he's in all the he needs same... to do is enter it and touch it. So it's so like right next just to you. walk She's through it. You. Yeah, it <laughs> land that's prone. Just it did not. Okay. I was gonna say I was imagining it like up on its roof with like its legs up in the air. Like... Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you guys crushed under the. <laughs> It Brilliant. is immune to the condition. So okay, so um, I'm gonna walk through Commander Peepers then, since that right. does okay. <laughs> Lovely. Like two d six of healing. One d six. As like Claire and I like yeah. walk low level. Is that possible? No. Embrace um, as you walk through Commander Peepers. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then I'm so I want to see if I can see where the gem the 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 light is coming from. Okay. Uh, make it a perception or investigation check. I will make a perception check with a roll of, oh god, 11? You needed a 10. It's oh. the brightest under this crib, which, as you guys have been tossed about inside here, you realize is illusory now. So. <gasps> Lies and I knew the baby wasn't real. <laughs> That's you didn't a shoot a baby. Of course the, the baby, baby wasn't real. The oh baby's a lie. <laughs> Yeah. The baby's still there placidly after this thing is flown through the air. It's just like, <laughs> exactly. It is kind okay. of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. All right, I bet so that, that's her like image of like straw baby, you know. That's Drabby. what I was thinking too. Yeah. Strawby. Okay, Strawby so baby. Yeah. um, I. I would like Strawed to then. baby short cake. So the light is coming from <laughs> underneath the crib, or yes. Okay, then I would like to, uh, like, attack the floor underneath the crib. <laughs> so you did use your action to locate it. I don't yeah, know I did. There's a lot of, so yeah. So, but, oh, but I, and I can't, oh, I can't bonus action. So you can point it out. You guys now know it's under there. Hot shit. It's under there. <laughs> oh! Okay. Unless you want to use your special Whoa. other ability, Mr. Fighter. But that's about all you could do. Special other, I mean, I've got... I mean, I can you unarm your, strike like, as a bonus action, action right? Uh, only if you use your action to attack, but you have an action surge, do you? Or action do you surge. No, I've already burned it. You burned oh, it in yeah, the frog you, battle, you huh? used it, the frog. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, titties. I'm all out of my tricks. <laughs> it's, under the, it's, under the, it's under the baby. All right, so. <laughs> baby. All right. Anything else? No, that is a, that's me for Cyborg. Cool. That's Ryan for Cyborg. Claire, you can now see clearly. This is Ryan for Cyborg News. The, <laughs> Green is very concentrated. Now that you can see through this illusion, it's clear that this is where the um, where everything is. All right, I I would like to attack the not baby. <laughs> okay. Um. It. So these are four boards. You'll need to um pry them up with a strength check to be able to get oh. up under there to get in there. Ooh, can I assist? Oh, actually, um, let's see. You can act. No, you can attack it. I'm sorry. I'm just. Don't know what I was thinking there. So, so it you can attack. make an attack to try to break through. Okay, hot shit. Um, it would be great if I didn't roll a one wow. though. So I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I'm doing so well here, guys. Uh, how about a twelve? It's a very creepy Only baby. Only nominally better. Oh my god. <laughs> it hits. And no. I think it's one splinter from breaking through the 10 points no. of floor health. Uh, wait, wait. Can I smite it? <laughs> if you want to burn a spell slot for that, go ahead. I'm going to smite uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm smiting the floor, guys. Oh burn my God. Whatever you roll, damage. you, uh, and then you just kind of <laughs> twist with smite anger and splinter, like little smithereens, little splinters <laughs> scatter anger. everywhere. Um, you should, you know, you, your player self thinks, I should have taken piercing damage from that, but you don't, as a little piece of wood does stick into your skin, dealing yeah, only cosmetic I'll, I'll damage. Those out later. And you see there under, um, under the wood is a large Thanks, growing gem that you recognize sitting there pulsing with energy. <sighs> um, is there a, an interact with object? available here <laughs> you can try to reach down and pick it up yep i would love to reach down and try to okay pick it up. <laughs> as you do you see this yep. these smithereens around this um sort of jagged broken wood suddenly becomes even sharper 
and all of the wood seems to shift around and it um, crushes together as if the hut is biting you mm. with wood. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Tasty. 17. Mm. You take... Oh, a poopy amount of damage. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, and the gem falls back ah, into the opening. Oh, okay. W what was the poopy amount of damage? <laughs> Five points of thank damage. <laughs> okay. I was like, shit, this bites. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with inanimate objects biting you? Um, you know, we can have that conversation later. <laughs> fair. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. All right, stupid, it's the hut's turn. question. Claire, did you did you roll your your D6 for Commander Peepers? I oh. thought that Ryan took that. Uh, no, you Commander can do Peepers it on your there. turn. It's oh. when you when a creature starts its turn there or moves into it in Delicious. the first Delicious. Okay. Uh, first Thank turn. you for the reminder. I didn't roll mine either. Peepers healing. Yeah. Only one of you gets it. Oh. Oh. So that's so, No, well, Ryan walked for it on his turn and Claire's doing it on her turn. Yeah, yes, uh, they both they both can do it. Oh, okay. I rolled a 1. Well, good, you got a one. Yeah, I'm number yeah. one. All right, you That's jokers. Inside my head. Uh, let's see, Claire first, 29 to hit. 24 damage. And Cyvor with an 18 to hit. <gasps> it doesn't hit me. Nice, Those, look at that. Uh, that six damage, six um, healing from Peepers uh, is what's keeping me up right now. Just oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Peepers. <laughs> Very good. Um, just Waldo, who has managed to hang on through all of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I get one more attack and you're climbing on me. <laughs> uh, 31 to hit for 35 bludgeoning damage. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I will uncanny dodge that 35. <laughs> like you get, uh, what? Seventeen. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and I look on the side of this house. It's like, <laughs> what looks important? Um. You can also help them grab the gem if you want. <laughs> I, uh, I just climb the last five feet and sort of hop in. <sighs> what? 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 The gem is on the floor. It's gonna bite you. Ah! And I drive at the floor and like try to rip open the the, uh, the spot where it is. Make a dexterity get, saving throw. Does he get commander peepers now? Is he close enough? Uh, if he walks through it, he gets an instant of healing. All yep. right, I'll do the six. I believe in true. I believe in peepers. I do. I do. Yeah. So peepers can heal one throw, more I get I get Claire's thing, right? You get Claire's thing. <laughs> All right, so I've rolled a whoa, hey, a natural hey, twenty hey, for a total out. of thirty plus uh, Claire's thing, which is thirty four. Thirty four. You found. Gotcha. Okay, you snatch this glowing gem up into your hands, and you have it. <gasps> we Anything win, right? For your action. The house still moving. It seems to be shifting around a bit. Yes. It didn't help at all! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So that was my oh my move. So five feet of movement. How much movement did it take to get in? Um, 15. Get out of here! Or 15. 10 to get in there, yeah. Um, to the end zone! <laughs> it's just, <laughs> uh, it's just uh, no, I look for um, Elimus. <laughs> I had six cents. I could see you throwing this to me. <laughs> and I just toss it out the window towards a limus. Okay. Um, and then I look around, look around for. Um, uh, I look on the roof. Is there anything in the roof on the ceiling that looks like um, you could like use it to interpose between me and the house? Um, it's just can a simple I, thatch. Can roof. I bonus action hide? Yes, you can try. Right. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use my chair. <laughs> I've rolled the twenty-three. Gotcha. I definitely, okay. just as he's looking around, I hand him my chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's me done. We've been using the chair. <laughs> mm. All right. I'm gonna take this chair with me. Uh, can I? It comes to your turn, and you see this gem. <laughs> <laughs> 
go kerplop into the thick, muddy swamp water next to you. Um, yeah, I've got a healing your, potion um, in my pocket. Allies um, yelling about chairs and panicking. <laughs> and as your turn starts, you see the house slow, slow, slow. Sort of like taking And a... then stop moving. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I pick up the gym. Oh. I was half expecting Alimus to get hit with that thing. Yeah, I thought it was going to fall on him. <laughs> and it just like walked over and was if like... If I was going to pick that up and that thing was still alive, I was going to be inside a wall of force. So <laughs> yeah. that thing was not hitting me. <clears throat> so are we off, we're off initiative? Do we, we are. Okay. Can we win? Hey, so. how, are, how are people so. doing? Maris yells oh, out. I've got a splinter. Oh. Hi. Okay, anyone need a little more help than extracting a splinter? We'll, uh, we'll be down in a sec. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey everyone. Good, good job. Yeah, good, good yep. work. Yep. I taste pennies. <laughs> Is Peeper still up you there? <laughs> um, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone walk through him. <laughs> Did somebody, uh, yeah, I was up to like pet him on the head. Aw, oh, you get a 1d6. Oh, yay. Did, um, did somebody give us bits? Um, I thought so. Let's have a look. I think that's pop. I mean, obviously, we've got Haunted Chronicles have, have dropped in with 250 bits. Thank you very much. Max oh, has dropped, um, oh, I keep saying, Max drops them in small bits of so 60 bits. Thank you very much, Manx. And Astral Hound, 100 bits. So thank you very much, guys. Wow. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you everybody. Yeah. Huzzah. Yeah. So, is that like a staircase or something? I got you. And then Cyber's yeah. <laughs> going to go ahead and grab a hold of both of them. And then uh, I should be able to do Featherfall, right? Or not Featherfall, but my uh, whatever Did the monk. Get consent? <laughs> Am I close enough to catch him in my... Uh, I, I'm not sure I want to be in the world. <laughs> With my snake NATO powers. But no, wait, wait, wait a minute. Before we, I mean, do you want to search the place? It is though? just a should house. We look around. Right? Yeah. We should sure. look around. What do we? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, while we're up here, you know. I, I will time. use my newly improved perception, if I may, DM. I will roll a nineteen for my perception. I will spend time identifying. I I'll yell out to Linus to search Baba Lizaga's body. <laughs> Is that, do that is that baby still here, DM? Um, baby. yes. Baby. There, there is a <laughs> step out of it. You can see through it a now, baby. but it is. There, there's a baby. <laughs> there's a baby. I, it's not I, real. I tried to Draw shoot it. Baby it's can't not real. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did Cyborg just say he shot a baby? It he wasn't a baby. actually a baby. <laughs> but yes. I can't you have to live with that. Baby. <laughs> So Even what you guys I wouldn't see, do that. looking around besides the baby, um, the hut is about 15 feet aside. It's packed with old furniture, including a wooden cot, a wicker cabinet, a slender wardrobe, a wooden table, a stool, and a barrel-topped wooden chest reinforced with brass bands. We should have used that chest to hide behind. That there is also work. an iron tub in the corner, clearly stained heavily with blood. Oh, no. In the oh, middle of the no. room is a ghastly wooden crib, like I said, with a angelic child sitting in it. All the furnishings, have... except for the crib, are bolted to the floor. Oh, so Ugh. I couldn't have handed him a chair? <laughs> you probably didn't know your own strength at the moment. Yeah. Ripped it up. Shall I uh, look at that uh, chest there for traps? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. I will search the dead body outside. Cyborg's going to take a moment and apologize to the spectral baby. What is this, perception or investigation? Investigation, please. <laughs> oh dear, that's okay, going to be a problem. Here we go. Hey, mm. 18, not bad. 18, not bad. Um, You look and you see, hmm, there is, as you are investigating the mechanism, you're kind of um, passing your fingers along the lock to try to feel the workmanship. You see that there is a, symbol maybe just scratched into the wood ever so slightly and you follow your fingers around it oh oh magic some sort of magic symbol has been carved into the opening around the latch all right um 
I think I can open this, but that right there worries me. Um, I think it is probably some sort of trap that cannot be disarmed. Well, um, as soon as... Well, we should get a Linus up here. Yeah. We should. Yeah. yeah. Or, and also maybe Maris? Cause we should just... Yeah, maybe we should all just... Should we go uh, down? Uh, everyone, um, I think it's safe. Come up. If you want. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maris, how do we get up? Do we, like, clamber up the side? or? <laughs> Cyber can probably help, right? Yeah, I can help people out. Hi! Hi! <laughs> so I see, uh, wow. as, you, as you bring her up, Cyber, and you put her in, I sort of there, and I sort of receive her, and I should put her down, I say, you healed everybody at once. That was amazing. Oh, hey, I mean... I've never seen anything like that, or even heard anything like that. That's incredible. Well, thanks be to Saloon, am I right? (laughs) Sure. (laughs) Is a compass? (laughs) You hear her like singing to herself (laughs) on her saloon, plugging her ear. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. her in-ear saloon monitor. Um, Is is it a compass? Is that you? Do I find anything on the body? If I don't, I'll make my way into the house. Uh, okay. Uh, no. She, um, well, actually, let me check. I've got a passive of 24. She has her, uh, AARP card, and, um... Call this number in case of (laughs) eating. Those little uh, lifeline bracelets around. Yeah, I was just. Have you been injured in a yeeting incident? (laughs) Call one eight hundred. I got. I've been yeeted and I can't get up. Are your visitors beating you? Please call. (laughs) Are your visitors? Hey, did I kill both Baba Lisaga and her house? How can you kill that which has no life? The house wasn't alive. It was the uh, felt very much alive. You at I, least disabled the house. I did it. Yeah. Um, there so is that nothing gem on. Never ever ever comes back in here, Alimus. Don't bring that gem back in here. There is nothing on Baba Lisaga. Oh God, of worth a simple wooden staff, old ragged clothes. She was worth. We can leave the gem with the A team. <laughs> With want me, because the other half of the A-team is a giant. Yeah. Yeah, and as she, oh, she responds to you, you hear this um, <laughs> interesting uh, the language coming out that's guttural and um, harsh and just sounds like the blowing of the wind. It sounds Absolutely. a little breathy. Do I think taking this gem back inside will reactivate the house? Yeah, more support. Or is it deactivated now? Don't, don't bring it back in the house, just in case. You can uh, make have an intelligence it, you can't check. Bring it inside, um, Jade. <laughs> Just a general intelligence check. I clicked it, but it's not doing it. There we go. Oh yeah, naturally. What's that? How many natural ones tonight? Jesus. <laughs> you. And I've it's had not a bunch enough, of so that it's no longer funny. It's not a type of magic that you are familiar with. You. So I'm unsure. You wouldn't think so, but you know. I'll hand it to uh, Ethel Vlad then, okay. while I, and I'll go up. Okay. Dimas, how are you? I feel rested. Good. Um, there is Good a chest here that I think is magically sealed. Oh, Cyber, can you grab that splinter? I can't reach it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I've got one too in my hand. Um, I will have a look and... Uh, he shows you the um, carving on the chest. He can point it out to you since he's located it. Uh, go ahead and make an arcana check. I don't know what the point if I'm rolling natural ones. 18. 18? Uh, you think that this is a glyph of warding. I will tell everyone to get back. Like how far back? back. Like, uh, like out of the house. What's... Like you, 60? You quiet, quiet there. What? Uh, out, like out of the house back. Out all there. right. Oh, take okay, some good yeah, cover right. back. Okay. Let's, uh, let's all back away. Um, Maris takes just Waldo's hand and leads him out of would the it, Would it be better to try and remove the chest from the floor and take it outside? I think it's bolted down, isn't it? But we could unbolt it? Um, I will cast a te- uh, dispel magic first. 
Okay, so are we out of the house, or are we still in the house? Not quite yet. Well, Cyber's getting out of the house. He, he He's floating at, like, 11 hit points, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll, right, stay, I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll stay in gonna there. Also, exit the house as the healer. Yeah. Mar Maris, can I get a top off before you run once, away? Once they're out uh, of the house, I will cast the spell. You can magic be a small card. one. Yeah. I'll, I will stay in there with uh, the Limus in case something happens and he needs to be like resuscitated. Okay. You as I cast dispel magic, and as the um, you put forth that canceling negative um, ab abjuration magic forward and you see the glyph light up and begin to crackle with electrical energy and then fade into nothing. Oh, thank God. And then thank I you, check sorry. it for traps. I've got a passive of 24 investigation or I can roll. Uh, you need to, to roll. Passive would be like thumbing through a library or something. So... Uh, 23, which is one less. It appears untrapped. You can open it now. Right. Is it locked? I didn't check. It is not locked. I hit the latch with the end of my rapier and slowly tow it open. All right. As you open it up, you see it is filled to the brim with quite a few items. Um, there seems to be a small book, some type of journal, perhaps, some notes, papers. There is also, Ugh. get ready to write, 1,300 pieces of gold, oh, um, five pounds. gemstones of, uh, you think are probably worth about 500 gold pieces each, a vial of oil that looks stoppered with a um, very fancy stopper um it looks valuable and it's kind of um uh being held in a nice little felt pouch with drawstrings there are two spell scrolls a pouch with what look to be um sling bullets ah <gasps> pipes of haunting oops just pipes that don't haunt <laughs> i'm getting tired and a um a uh, small polished agate that seems to be feels really nice holding it in your hand feels good so that's what you get well there does that who have? is holding it in their hand who's picking it up who's going through it I look i looked at her and i said the last time i looted a chest and walked away i was cursed let me have a look you are muted Wait. We can't hear you, dude. I wasn't muted. I would have ah. a look. Oh. Okay. You said there um, were, like, yeah, books you pick... in there? Yep, yeah, there's a couple books. Um, it looks like a collection of notes kind of bundled together with twine. A couple books together. Some those. loose leaf I pages. Books cast... and notes? Mm hmm. I will hard cast a tip magic. <sighs> I'll get All right. half, half the notes and books to a cyborg in here. Everything except <laughs> for the. Um, <laughs> The treasure, the the basically the gems yeah. and the gold is magical. Even the books? No, not the books. <gasps> Yay, books and notes. So the <sighs> I, I, you I see, uh, you detect uh, there are five different magical items. Oh no, because there are two scrolls. So six different magical items in this chest. Okay, and with that cast, is there anything in this room that else is magical? Um, you detect necromancy magic faintly emanating from the tub that is stained with blood. You also detect illusion magic, obviously, from the uh, uh, the crib. I bet. That's it. I will... Which is not real. I will look at the tub as well, then if it's necromancy. I will just study it and have a look. Okay, it is just a simple... Uh, so the tub it itself is. isn't magical. So, no. what do you think? Should we <laughs> rest here? I think so. I need some time with these items. Right. All right. Assuming well, you guys do that, um, I think this is actually a good time to head to break. First, I should recap. The uh, first half of this session was a mighty battle with Babalisaga and her enormous walking hut. The party was able to defeat it um, and her, though the hut ended up on its own, ended up being quite an interesting challenge by itself. In it, they found it was being 
animated by one of these green stones of which they are familiar. Um, and they also found within a chest a bunch of loot. They found some uh, some treasure, some gold piece value treasure. They also found a couple spell scrolls, one of which being Revivify, which is very handy to have. As a note, material components are consumed when the scrolls are created. So having a scroll of Revivify means you need no material components. Um, That's nice. It is, yeah. They also found a pouch of 10 plus one sling bullets, which could maybe be used in a musket, who knows. And uh, pipes of haunting and a luck stone. Oh, and oil of sharpness. Um, so, yes. Party, you have all of these things to divvy out and it is calm. You see, uh, you know, last session you were surrounded by a number of scarecrows and um, other um, intimidating looking beings around this swamp and whether they fled or simply collapsed into the swampy water, there seem to be no threats here for now. Well, that's the last straw. <laughs> I, for one, could use a rest. They must have left. They have no While power. we do, we should decide how that we have these things. Books and notes? Uh, and notes. Yes, please. <laughs> Cyber and I divvy up all the books and notes and start perusing. When I'm done, when I'm done writing down mine, we'll, we'll, we'll compare. It'll be great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, hmm. Ado, Vlad, I couldn't help but notice that for the last few days you have not actually had much of an opportunity to use that rapier. You're amazing yeah. with the bow, and it just occurred to me that maybe you would you would prefer this. And I hold out the Luckstone. She don't like you. Okay. I don't like you either. Oh, I was like, wrong, wrong game. Mm. <laughs> Only if you All want right. it. I mean, I have a rapier already. But, I... And that is still yours to have, if that is what you want. Uh, I do not mean to give and then take away. I kind of want that luck stone, and I also have my short sword also. So... I was curious, holding on to both of those, did they still feel connected to the way you talked about before? Uh, they haven't really spoken to me. Um, yeah, that was sort of a one-time experience so far. I was hoping there was something there, but if there's not... I'll gladly let you know if the short sword starts feeling things again but so, as you mm -hmm. hand over the rapier does the short yeah. sword go Whoa! no oh, the short sword actually um well maybe they have been talking and i just haven't asked the dm as you hand it over it or as you um hand over the rapier the short sword as you listen you feel relief and but also impatience you can't help but turn your eyes towards where Ravenloft looms in the distance and feel the urge to go, go, kill, fight. I'm sorry, I thought I found, what was that you said? I didn't, I didn't. Here you go, have the, have the rapier, that's fine. And I hold up the stone to show it to everyone. Is this all right with everybody? I have no issues. It'll Cyclone will just... Cyclone. <laughs> Cyclone Bob. All right, there you are. Have a luck stone. Has anyone here actually got magical items? Has the Cantha got any magical items? I have magical items. I think technically all my weapons are magical items. Yeah. We had a really awesome one, but it got given away. <laughs> uh... <laughs> We've got the Ravenloft thing back, haven't we? Maybe the amulet, yeah. yeah. Not as cool as the lightsaber. I don't have my sword. Okay, I like light. the amulet. 
<laughs> I think Maris still has that that thigh master, that thigh bone. I have I the thigh master and my amulet. <laughs> I like that it's the body. It's a piece of the body of a saint. <laughs> it's you, huh? it's the thigh master. You've got a lot of thigh unlimited, master unlimited and wine. The amulet. And oh. unlimited wine, she says, and starts to pour wine from the ewer into her open mouth. Yep. <laughs> Technically, all my magic comes from my training. That's and so cute, your, Cyborg. And your amazing personality. Oh, okay. Amazing you should write that in your journal. I am. Shut up. For what? some reason, Maris feels a little jealous. Question mark. <laughs> Just Waldo looks at her and it's like, "What next? What about the body outside, hanging off?" Oh, you could have that. No, I don't. <laughs> no. No, the... <laughs> you mean the person? The crow oh, girl. Right. There's a person hanging out there, isn't there? Is she? Is she still there? Um, the, yes, the there is someone lady. there. That's a really crass way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I was like gibbet oh. lady, the old gibbet lady, just hanging out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is Her. a unconscious woman hanging in a gibbet. Oh Sorry. fuck! Uh, before we dig into these notes, Cyborg. Um, oh oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh oh <laughs> oh oh! I'll just keep the green gem. It's fine. So uh, Cyborg is going to go ahead and uh, can I can I cut her down? Is it a uh, chain? There's a there's a door. I mean, there's a little. You can oh, try okay. to unlock. Hi, my name is Cyborg. Um, we she's unconscious. Leave? Oh, she's oh kind of slumped. Oh, that that's is. so good. I'm really glad. Um, I thought Flad's whispering to a cop that look, he's gonna journal about this later. Seventeen perception. I feel that shade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm gonna try to uh, pick her up. Okay. Yeah. And she is her, just kind of her head's lolled to the side, and um, clothes look a little bit ragged. She looks very okay. thin. Fanny. And I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to bring her down to wherever Maris is. Um, okay. Because you're you're still in the house, yes, Maris. I had exited the house okay. with you, but I guess that like since I didn't want to be in the You've house. Back in. Yeah. There's that I weird moment. You guys are all like kind you of just gathered. Waldo, and you were like, what was, "What was that with him?" And you're like, "No, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I love you. I love you most." But yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember hey, that we're now. ready. To... All right. I'm inside. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm definitely so, inside. So Cyborg carries this unconscious body back to the group. Um, she has jet black hair that tumbles down about halfway down her back. Um, young, probably mid twenties, um, and uh, carrying n no weapons that you can see, but um, sort of a bit of leather armor, which is kind of patchwork leather armor. There seem to be spots for two daggers on her belt, but the weapons themselves are not um, currently present. She's unconscious. I, I I couldn't wake her up. Sure, 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 sure. So um, you lay her down in front of me. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I would like to investigate to see what I can see. Make a medicine check. Okie dokie. Uh, While you're doing that, thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. 14. Welcome. Hey. Okay. Um, you. So, oh, so close to 50. Sorry. As you look around, you see there are some contusions as well. There aren't many um, puncture wounds, but it looks like she's been. Um, almost uh beaten at some point many bruises on her um on her side on her arms and then also it looks as if at one point um something sharp almost pierced um through her calf almost as if she was you know grabbed by a hook or something like that and dragged okay um, so uh, a severe wound is on her leg sure so maris <clears throat> holds <laughs> She finds a spot on her calf and she puts a hand over the wound and casts Cure Wounds. Okay. Uh, as you let this healing energy flow through your hands, um, you see that unconscious though she is, the, the breathing is fast and it slows and then it takes a deep breath of awakening. When she looks around startled to all of you, <clears throat> what? Oh. You're okay. You're okay. Ooh. We're friends. We're friends. 
And she kind of looks around at where she is. Where's where is she? Where? Where's who are you looking for? She's dead. Nearly decapitated outside. You just no. We we threw her out of her out of her bone head. Yeah, we're inside the bone head now. No, no, this is the tree head. Oh, okay. Maris is getting confused with all the heads. Bark head, wood head, pine head. <laughs> Deadhead? God. House head. Spruce? <laughs> oh. Gracious. Thank thank you. I, I should get my brother. We were both attacked. Made it to us and told us of your situation. He was wounded, but we were able to heal him. And uh, oh. we sent him back to your clan to tell them that there are people now whose aim is the end of Strad. We have slain his mother. That's us. We have that which protected him in our power now. And soon, Barovia will be liberated. When I'm you cyborg. said that, I was about to retort. You speak of things which cannot be done, but if the devil of Berez is in Destroyed, then maybe. maybe, maybe <laughs> Clearly, can be you done. have never heard of the legends of Jesualdo Tocarembo, La Tomba del Fuego, Santa Maria, Zacatega, the Hodel, Santa Cruz, and La Rosa. I can write it down if you need it. Um, I don't think I don't think she needs it, babe. All those titles are very important, you know. Uh, we'll talk about it later. So anyway, <laughs> um, what were you? What are you? What were you out here doing? We were, we were s scouting, um, patrolling the forests, looking, uh, we, we had heard of a great change at Arjinvast, which I assume now was you. Yeah, th that's, that's Claire. She's our commander. We're the, we're the Silver Seven. Ting! Excuse me for being rude. My name is Amelia. <laughs> Just wild <though. laughs> Walking away. Tukarem de la Tomba del Fuego. <laughs> Go oh, very good. Oh, he, you've almost got, you know, a quarter of it. I'm Maris. Maris that's, extends a hand. That's easier. Hello, Maris. Hi. I'm Cyvor. Cyvor. He says, with a piece of the skull hanging from his mouth. Oh, no, like, he's, <laughs> he's, he's like eyeballing that like, giant skull. Like, it. anyone, anyone called dibs on the flying skull yet? You got it, you got it, buddy. It's just, all you. Just... Slowly just, gnaw on one part of it. I, 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 I. Is it still like floating there or has it come down to the ground? <laughs> like, what's the deal with that skull? Like jumping for it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just kind of sitting there floating. Exactly. Yes. Get it. Wheels on wheels. <laughs> Wait, can it, can it be used as to, to fly? Don't eat it yet. Not if he eats it. <laughs> Don't eat the car. <laughs> for those of you just tuning in, our monk Cyvor has a dark gift. He has a fly speed, but he has to eat a pound of bones or grave dirt every day. <laughs> he He's never chooses grave dirt. <laughs> um, His character art's on the screen now. PM, uh, PM. Yeah. DM, um, I recall at one point you said that the luck blade conveyed a plus one to armor class. That is not in your standard luck blades <laughs> stat block. Is this a special Barovian luck blade? Did I say that? You did. Ooh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You Oog. need to do um Oog. A, Oog. don't you need to do a ring of protection no, that to was get the, the stats class. for that? That was the that's, for the, oh, okay. um, that's for the um that's for the blessing of protection that you guys I just have so heard. many magic things, I get confused. That's okay, me too. Well, that, that obvious, obvious you I get Poor confused. Old you have so many any. magical things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, wow. Hero magical items. Oh no, Jim got anything? Uh, let me check here. We had some really awesome ones that came in back with the other druid, but he kept them. <laughs> Go back. I would, I would, I would, I love the idea of a Kantha's primal champion. You're correct. <laughs> oh my god! No yes. bonus. No bonus to armor class. No bonus to armor class. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we there can only be one primal champion, really. Primal, sort of. It's right it's, there in the name, Prime. I know. Um, cool. 
maybe we should go and find Cyborg and not Cyborg. Um, what? Oh, what was that Where's lizard Cyborg? man's name? Where did it, where uh, did I go? Saurif. Saurif, right? Oh, we could go Reeve. find Saurif, right and yes. Akanta and and Saurif can, you know, have a some sort of contest to see who commune? is the true primal champion. Who is the... there? Can be only one primal champion. Wait, why is it? What happened? I missed had, this. There was another druid Just who traveled here with us when we first arrived. Um, was he eaten by a door? No, 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 no. no. That was just Claire. By a door, it's fine. Um, but okay. He, he ate a raven, though. I, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I say. <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> her eyes what? open up. Uh, what? So he Maris was, he was severely punished. Yes. Maris looks to our so. <laughs> new friend and. Asks her if she needs anything, like water or maybe some wine. Thank you, um, water. And she like is clearly not following any of the conversation Fair that's enough. happening now at all. Um, and Maris is gonna just sit yeah, over on the side and take but from take the look care on of her. Your, from the look on your face, I am with you. I am. I'm still trying. So there's a primal path that so a he, champion. He found a weapon. Um, that s seemed to sort of house the spirit of a formal owner, some primal champion that decided that Saurib was the next primal champion, that he was worthy of bestowing this sort of nature-based power upon him. And he left us and joined up with some locals and formed a it band. Was a cult. We haven't seen him since. He, he started the cult. Or I can I think took over a cult, I guess. I mean I I guess in Barovia your options aren't really great, so start. Maybe he would consent to lending us his spear. Um, Although I, I, have, I have difficulty understanding how a whirlwind would use it. I don't Those think it of was you, that much powerful from what we already have. You might recall that the power of the spear was more in the fact that he was chosen by the yeah, spirit to chosen. wield it. Well, um, they hadn't seen Akanta. Maybe they'll change their mind. I look at Akanta the spear and remember as, <laughs> as all of us look over at Akanta and just kind of... Akanta doesn't need anything. She's special enough, aren't you? <laughs> I know. She's spinning and I'm waving and it's we're over here. A-team. She's quiet. <laughs> she's she's come to him. She's fine. I mean, I'm has anyone here ever body. seen her use a weapon? No. Which is no? why the spear is like three times longer than she is. Right? So I mean, she God, came this close to touching a staff once. Yeah, but I... I she did touch it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. She took like it was pretty bad, points of damage. Remember? <laughs> it was like pretty bad, Jenny. Oh, yes, that's right. No, she definitely did touch it. That's right. Cyber <laughs> did not like that joke. <laughs> well. well. Um, we have to, if you can't smile at your mistakes, then... Uh, I'm just saying, the last time I, I saw her throw anything was a gorilla. At, the last time I saw her throw something, it was a house. Oh, yes. yeah. I didn't and see I it because I was inside. Yeah. <laughs> that was her. That was oh, totally her. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she needs a spear. I think she's got the whole throwing thing down. <sighs> anyway, um, does anybody have anything we could give this woman in far as food is concerned? Oh, well, you've been talking. Maris has been giving me some water and some things. Thank you very much, though. I, I appreciate it. Maris. Such a good heart. Maris blushes and looks away and just goes back to helping our new friend. <laughs> we were about to rest. <laughs> what, um... Hey, oh my god, you too! That's so cute! I'll if you've, spin a little faster. If you've <laughs> cleared the area of threats, I could probably make it back to Valaki. Um, Happy to escort you once we rest, but if you want to get a move on, we understand. I would like to bring news of this victory to the Order. If you think you're safe to travel. She kind of stands up and... Um, Akantha can give you a head start <laughs> if you like. <laughs> <laughs> you watch it, actually, her, her features shift a bit. Her nose grows a little sharper. Um, her Her face narrows and a couple feathers kind of pop out of her forearms and yes i can go wait she do i get to throw her hybrid form <laughs> no 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 she's self-propelling it's fine 
Stop revving No, up. I can <laughs> fly. I can fly myself, thank you. Wow. No, no. Sure. Sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> you get the air head start up into the air and then <laughs> into It's a random direction, though. You could go any direction first. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, we're at 51 viewers. Oh. Hey. Give away. What? You mean you mean I've got to spend money? I'm yeah. so glad I'm going to be joining Monday nights. And now it's <laughs> every time you do that, <laughs> we lose the view. An punished. imaginary baby dies. An imp gets its wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in every mind. Time, Thank you. Every time you do that, Akanta gets to throw something at you. Oh, hey. <laughs> let's Hi, do that giveaway. Yeah, yes. let's uh, let's I, open the giveaway at least. What are we giving ooh, away? I, I will. I will, we're going to be doing a t-shirt, our naughty t-shirt. So carry on. I have to go for all the motions. <gasps> they're nice. They're soft. I have to, I have to click on the PayPal. Hashtag, or not naughty. hashtag. Exclamation point giveaway. Enter in. But it's not, we, it's when not it's up, up yet. It should be up it's now. Up? Uh, all right. Wait for, it to, right. wait for it to announce and then it'll do it. There we go. And then uh, so... Ooh. Group to fast forward a little bit. She will go by um, transforming. You will see her clothes and bits of leather armor. Um, excuse me. Completely drop away to the floor as a raven <laughs> takes off into the sky. Oh, they're beautiful. You think Do she'll need her clothing? Every time? You think she'll need her clothing where she goes? They probably uh, have extra. Probably fine. Does that just mean they nice leave their clothes? I, that seems very inefficient. Are they nice like clothes? I feel like that's something you, you need to, to change. Fall, huh? <laughs> I just, you know, I thought I might switch up my look there. It's like very embarrassing. Great, darling, don't worry. They're pretty were raveny. They're blacks and grays, you know. It's pretty, uh, it feels. They don't do anything for your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? You oh, look good in very color. Very dare you. <laughs> um, after studying <laughs> this green gem DM, do I get any information from it? Like you know, I have is... the gem. Oh yes, oh. I asked for it back and I study it. You're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. I assume you guys have all regathered. Yeah, You've yeah, determined yeah, we there's no. The yeah. Unless you try to put the gem back into the spot down in the roots, there's <laughs> no. Oh yes, um... let's do that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be. Yeah, fun. you guys no, climb back on and we'll do that. Just there is no risk. Up. By the way, a uh, little. This, it, I, a couple times I just have to like pull away the curtain because it's fun for both group and audience. So this was a very difficult fight balancing action economy versus just a sheer amount of damage and hit points. And there are two ways to defeat this enemy, just actually killing it or um, disabling it. You guys did both, sort of. <laughs> and we're about 20 <laughs> points away from killing the house when you fully disabled it. Yeah. So it's Hell it was yeah. really interesting and very. I must uh, admit, I was sat close, literally, when it come to my turn, which it did come to my turn. But then you said, and it stops. I was about to cast a fifth level fire, uh, fifth level lightning bolt at it. So. Yeah. No, it, it's just it's just fun because that was um, very difficult. Anyway, uh, but the house is completely disabled now. Um, you guys, as you guys gather, the gem is what you think it is. It is the gem from the dream you just had that um, can empower growth that has um an immense amount of power in you know actually uh, many various applications it's the same ones that were stolen from the wizard of wine's winery that were under the vineyard um you think that this was actually one of the ones that was stolen yeah they used to have three didn't they but yeah they did and go ahead sorry tell me about that floating skull yes it is just nice. Simply floating. And, like floating and, popcorn. Like as in like it just sort of just stays in the air and just doesn't hasn't come down yet? That's correct. What this happens is, if you like touch it? Oh, I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> okay. He's gonna touch the Are you gonna try and move it? Yeah, I'm 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 gonna like get inside of it and see. Alright. Make an athletics check. Wait. Wait. <laughs> no. So wait, um... All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Wow, it's laughs> Y'all are about to see like Cyborg like in the skull like pushing with his wings like f trying to push this thing around. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yes. Digga, 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 digga. Okay. Athletics check. Yes. Break it to your will. 
Bone Bronco. Oh no! Uh, you flap, flap, and you're kind of down in the hollow of the skull and flapping your wings furiously, like, "Yeah, I got this." And then it's that feeling, um, you know, when you start exercising again and you don't look at the miles on the treadmill, and oh, you're like, no. "Oof!" And then you're like, "Oh man, I'm getting there." And you look, and it's 0.2 miles, and you're like, "Oh well, shit!" I feel that's, personally that's what cyber you feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. How dare you? you Damn, have, dude. You have pushed and pushed and pushed, and you look and you think you've moved it about maybe two feet. Oh, man. Getting hey, the wings. Hey, Cyborg. Try do to you like need a push? Shut up. Akanta, he needs a push. No, 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 no. no. Bye. Akanta, don't come closer. near my bonehead. Stop moving. You're going to make me it. feel sick. <laughs> I'm still a cyclone. You know I get into cosplay. I gotta do it right. No, please. It's, it's, I bet Akantha can move it. No, Akantha, no. I heard you. You'll just you'll just see the cyclone. Oh, that's not what It doesn't no, automatically happen if you're it. in her space. She can still help you push it if you want. Alright. Alright. Oh. Uh, go, bonehead. Fly, bonehead. Are you just saying that to it? Yeah. Oh, put away. <laughs> put away, bonehead. Jazam. <laughs> That's not her name. <laughs> it does not respond to your request. <laughs> I'm going to push it. All right. All right. I can't give it a l little a tiny push. Tiny push. Tiny. No, no. Tiny push. Tiny push. <laughs> not tiny push. Tiny push. <laughs> I'll give it a, a medium push. All right, make an athletics check with the air elementals. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm I'm studying the green D20 gem. D20 plus two. Okay. And I, and I want to check D20 if there's any growth. Okay. Any growth? So I was just being bad. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Made me Push laugh. These. All right, that's what counts. I laughed too. <laughs> If we break this, does that mean that Strad is vulnerable, or is there something else? It's she said she skull. used this to make the thing that made him invulnerable. What? This, this um, skull. The fourteen. A fourteen. Um, you are able to move it a bit closer down to the house, oh, almost to the edge of it. Sorry, I start dude. studying it with. I identify I... it. Um... So. Again, identify will um, reveal it to be. You've identified one of these before. It's a source of immense raw power. It would take uh, someone like Baba Lisaga, for instance, um, crafting and um, enchanting over a long period of time to harness the power in a certain way. Through the notes that are in the chest, you guys are able to gather that this was not the gem that you guys found originally or uh, in the dream sequence this is the second gem that she has found the first one when she um perverted its energy to purely um take away the pain and bind it to strahd's pain and hopelessness at his mother's his actual mother's death um you will um know that um those were used to forge the heart of sorrow this gem she had intended to use for similar purposes to help him but she found that the magic would be when brought within proximity to one another would be unstable she mentions that the protective force protecting the heart itself would be disrupted by the presence of this gem He's wow. very disappointed by this and was working on a way to change it, but in the meantime was using it to power her own dwelling. So You will also note from her ramblings, she considers herself Strahd's mother, but refers to um, the queen, King Barov's wife, disparagingly at times saying that no one saw the greatness in him that I did. I, and 
Um, over the course of reading, you can see that this woman truly believed herself to be Strahd's true mother. Good to know. <clears throat> Um, and one further thing, as you guys are, are there are a lot of um, highly intelligent people pouring through these and reading and able to compare notes. It looks as if, though she has helped him, that all her, any encounter she catalogs with Strahd seem to be her observing from afar or using a disguise or using a um, middleman to deliver anything to him or to help him. She does not seem to ever have direct contact with him. Loves him from afar. So, I'm sorry, does that mean that if we hold, if we have this on our possession when we attack him, that it will, we will finally be able to harm him? Or does this mean we still have to find something else in the I castle? I think we have to find the heart separately. Yeah. yeah, you remember when we were in the the lower levels we could we could hear that that there was a heartbeat yes There's there was a heartbeat, was a heartbeat. which i was that. not myself then i don't remember that well a lot of things happened you you okay you okay so yeah. if if conceivably if the one that we saw in the dream sequence still exists and the one that we have now in our possession it it should be in castle strahd i think so we're going to go back to castle raven well, we're going back there anyway, aren't we? Well, I... Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is... right? I mean if you could that... think of a way to get Strahd to come to us, that would be even better, but I don't see that happening. Well, can we do that without harming our friends who are How many there? days do we have left before execution? Oh, my goodness. Right. We, yeah. have to, we have to be there the day after tomorrow to keep it from happening. Did not specify when, I don't believe. But it was we if we assume it goes the day after tomorrow. If we seem that it goes from dawn, then we should uh, we should go there now. Are we gonna are we gonna make it there in time? If we, I mean, make it there in time. Probably rest we first. Rest. We? We, we rest. Please go. We will arrive and have the entire night. So there's pretty much no way that Maris is going to finish that book at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> but is there I... anything worthwhile she can glean if she like reads tonight quite a bit or no? Have you just... How many hours have you read of it? Plenty. I think like total All 5. It. Five and a half. <laughs> it has to be uh, more, than more than that. I think it's it is be more I'm, than that. I'm I, I do apologize because I I probably should have kept track, but I asked I think I did ask you to keep track of how many Listen, hours. Listen, that read. is totally look, on me. Look, mistakes so were let's made. Say, let's say a thousand <laughs> hours. I'm at level thirty five. It's been a thousand hours. Oh my god. Seems legit. Within a week you need twenty four hours of mm -hmm. reading time. Sure. How much um how much of the day has gone by? Today. <sighs> You guys can. It took it took a great deal of time to get through the swamp. Um, you probably started this at late afternoon, and you see the sun, or the area where you assume the sun would be low in the sky at this point. Dream sequence, though, quick to your eyes, seems to have taken you a bit longer. The day after the morrow is execution. You have the entirety of tomorrow, at least, mm -hmm. to do what you would like. Now, I will say, Maris, if you study through the night, getting minimal sleep, and taking a point of exhaustion through the next day, you can finish the book. That is Maris's plan. six hours of reading. Yeah. She's going to cram like she did for her undergrad is, finals. Yeah, Liz Culpepper. this is true to life, I don't know what it is. It's like, oh, it's a I shame. need to fucking 13 hours? Jeswaldo had other plans for tonight, but... Uh... <laughs> Not on my watch. So, that's that's fine. You have to study. I understand. I, I know that. That's the tough part about traveling with a party. It's like... Well, it's very gentlemanly of you. 
Huh? Wow. Oh, guess I'll go back to reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stars. Is it, is it hot in this hut or is it just is me? Is it just me? <laughs> So what is the plan? <laughs> it is like college. <laughs> it is like college. Sorry, honey. I can't. We need I gotta, to, we I gotta study. We probably need to full rest, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yo, the question do is, sure. do we want to make Are it back to... Are you going to do to, that here, or...? Do we want to make it back to um, Arjun Vosthold and rest yeah. there, or do we Ooh. want to risk resting here? Um, I like Arjun Vosthold. That seems I like different. Arjun Vosthold. I'm afraid we're going to get attacked on the way. That's fine. Your call, Commander. Yeah, Commander. Uh, um, yeah, Commander. Um, uh, whew, wow. Um, like whatever. Still getting used to that. Um, Maris, do you have, or, or actually, no, let's take stock. Um, who? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I feel so attacked. <laughs> um,. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, stop. Um, so, who's doing badly right now? Thyvor raises his hand. Okay. Um, um, I have been better. Okay. So, if Maris can spare another healing spell for Cyvor and maybe just Waldo, mm -hmm. then we'll, you know, we should probably be okay. I, I can so. definitely do that, especially if post these healing spell slots, we're taking the rest, correct? Okay. So I'm going to go as high as I can get you, boys, which is a four for cure wounds separately. Do it. There's our first one. Oh, I love it. And there's our second one. Nice. And they're pretty even, 24 and 23. Yeah, so. I'll take the second one. I'll take the first Perfect. Oh, he gets an extra point of healing because Maris kissed him on the cheek. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Why am I kiss you anyway? <laughs> Does anybody right. want a berry? <laughs> I'll definitely. Yeah, have I'll have one. I need a hit point. <laughs> can the, I don't like the one hit can point. the whirlwind eat the berry? We're about she's to find fine. out. She's she's got herself. She's fine. I imagine you'd be like, "Can the whirlwind eat that?" And then, like the berry goes, <laughs> and yeah. you. And and like, you see it. You see oh, no. the berry get tossed up. What color are they? They are like wine red. Because <laughs> yeah, I like so wine. This, uh, Best right, color right, red. Um, you know, Pinot Noir grape goes. Uh, you know, going up there, and it it actually just bursts when it reaches a confet. It's like she. You can see this sort of face-like thing in the spinning wind open its mouth, but as it gets to the mouth, it just splits, and all of a sudden there's this pink tinge to the swirling wind that is all of the juice seems to be spread throughout this spinning elemental. And she becomes pink for a bit and oh my God, yes. one hit point. Yet another thing I learned today. It's a good look. Uh, so everybody wants everybody wants one? Please. <laughs> Okay, um, I've got just extra. a reminder to everyone in chat: we are doing a giveaway, exclamation mark giveaway for one of our uh, naughty T-shirts. I give you one more. Oh. Anybody else? I have two more up for grabs. I give Cyber one last one up for grabs. Can what you, you have more than one? <laughs> you don't think it says anything. It just sustains you for the day, for food-wise. You can have as many as you want. Yeah. That's oh. very I'm good. I'll take digestion. another one. <laughs> All right, then I give you that one, and now I'm out. Oh, nice. Yay! So we gather up our meat, and... <laughs> can... I assume we're not doing anything with the skull cup thing. Oh, I'm, I'm keeping it. How are um, you keeping it? How? I'm... I'll... I'll, I'll push it. I'll Did drag we, it. Have we determined how to control it, DM? You have not. <laughs> Can I... Maybe someone who knows something yeah, can about Can I have a look at it and investigate it and stuff? Sure. And I sure. Grab, make an arcana check. Fly him. It's now probably at the balcony or um, just really the, I guess, veranda. The porch? Oh, no, <laughs> the porch, yeah. Dyer. 13 oh. arcana. Ooh, this is difficult. Um, no inscriptions. No 
apparatus of control, nothing like that. You do not know. And I didn't find it doesn't tell me how to use it or anything. It does. How about a 14? I, did, I said I cast an identify on it. On the thing? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> how about a 9? Um, so you determined that this can be used as a sort of flying transportation device. See? It you is are a flying transportation device. With yeah. another um, item. It is a gift from um, a, uh, a dark being. And if you find four innocent souls oh. and bleed them into the tub and oh. bathe in it on the full moon, you can use this skull. Oh. I can't, Here you go, how many five five four What a coincidence. I believe it is a full moon tonight. Well, I, say, I, I look around at the group and I'll say... Um, can we get... What's her face back? Everyone get a D6 roll and then I'll pick a number. <laughs> But they need it innocent, right? So, so yes. some of us aren't in that group. <laughs> Wait, who's not in that group? Don't worry, just journal about it. Don't you worry about it. Is that Chelsea? <laughs> you I've already worn one skull as a hat. Could I not wear this one as well? And we could just take it wherever. It what? is difficult to move when it's not obeying your commands. It is difficult to push around. Does my 18 give me the command word? No. I, what, so what I, Alimus identified is, is there's no... It's not a command word. If you were to um, appease Mother Night, as it is with your... Um, uh, with a sacrifice, sacrifice of and, four babies. and Well, not babies, but... <laughs> you know, I mean, would, uh, why I mean, stop at just innocence? Would, Let's just go right for babies. We oh, have man. someone who will gladly shoot them, as we know. <laughs> First off, journal. It, it was journal about it. It's been fine. a real baby. We'd only need three. It's okay, Cyber. See? She wasn't in the room. It's all right. Don't worry that about was it. a great moment. <laughs> <laughs> the body of who his mother was. Um, should we just set it alight and? So it can't come can back. We, can you dispel the magic and, and make it drop? Um, or at least you should dispel the magic on the tub. I, I think in a way we would want to destroy it. Right. Um, looking around, the tub is not necessarily a magic. Magical mm -hmm. is what she used to complete the blood ritual. Uh, it's not like a magic item. It is just a practical item. Magic tub. How do we destroy the, this the, thing? The aura, it's why Elimus didn't detect it as a magical item. He detected the presence of necromantic energy from the, the ritual that she completed. Through the reading of notes, he would see that she would bathe in blood regularly, once a month, to keep herself alive. That's how she subsisted over the centuries. She was not undead nor a fiend. She actually was humanoid but greatly empowered by dark forces. Thankfully, gravity is still going to get you. Uh, well, it we got you it? pretty bad too, Cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> First off, I knew the root of my problem the minute it branched out, all right? So, uh, all right. Get out of here. So, get out. Um, somebody we, we, we are muting <laughs> Cyborg. Um, so, yeah. is there a way to destroy this DM? Um, let's see if this works. Can we break it apart and give Cyborg it? dinner? <laughs> Did you just cast Fireball on it? Everybody get down! Yeah. <laughs> I, I grab a full fl If he's really throwing a Fireball, I'm grabbing her and we're just going to like float up 90 feet into the air to get out of the way. Yeah, the Fireball uh, explodes. It sets the hut on fire and annihilates <laughs> most of the porch, which is the entry and exit route. Now a flame as the um, thing is nearly destroyed. I'll just let it burn for a while. It's bone. Oh. <laughs> Do it again. Does it? Are you guys outside of the hut at this point? Yeah, we're yeah outside. Are we? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. I was like, in the... we're getting ready to leave. Yes. <laughs> I'm just sitting in there like that dog. This is fine. Yeah, this yeah. is fine. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Do you want me to do it again? I mean, that was a fifth level That's fireball. That's a waste of a spell. No, no. Yeah, it's uh, fine. Just let it just, burn. Aren't we about it. to rest? Yeah, just we're about to rest. Exhausted. Burn that spell slot. slot. I thought we were watching. <laughs> so, 
Half elf, <laughs> we're in like, that spell slot party. We're so anyway. sorry. So, can we're, can we're I start happy. stabbing it with the luck braid to just sort of like poke holes in it? Well, okay. I'll Here's the frost thing. it to death. Wait. All right. Yeah. It, you guys can. It's 50 hit points. He almost destroyed it with the first fireball. Um, uh. Once it's once it's gone, it will break apart, um, start to sort of disintegrate, and the house itself is now on fire. Yay! The roof we were is going on to rest fire. in that, weren't we? Suck That's on that, giving tree. To... Why would you I want to do that? Salt. It is now a um, enormous fire too, between the sort of gaseous um, bits and and also the alchemical bits that she had been with. You can see <laughs> little explosions casting large bits of fire high into the sky. It is so much for our arson track. <laughs> very hey, bright. I actually hey, feel better lights. about this. I, I, think, guys, I now this is totally another understand house. why it's you set fire. things on fire. This is this yeah. is fun. This is, right? It's the only way to be sure. If and when we get out of here, don't take that to like civilization as a Oh concept. no. <laughs> um, no, I, there's a lot I won't get back to civilization. It'd be the least of his worries about what he's going to DM, as we as we uh as we creep out, may I stealth ahead to see Yeah. Like, hmm? right. So if this explosion gathered any unwanted attention Collect i was any about to say i'll still. stealth with him but i am in 14. the air still so okay i will spin <laughs> some of you can see Jaswaldo ahead in the mist and actually it's going to be at a disadvantage because i am still exhausted ah i do not see him <laughs> <laughs> can you not so he's 14 there. still he's oh, right in front oh, of you claire oh. What? You, what you, you move ahead and nothing is immediately obvious, but all of you can hear, you know, sounds of bog wildlife around just a bit. Um, frogs, toads, and stuff. And what maybe sounds like a very large ribbit at some point. Oh, no. Ribbit! Overly large? <laughs> like, oh. huge. So. Um, <laughs> any chance that I can see anything from my? You can make a perception check. Spot that high above the ground. You think this fire is likely to catch attention in the general area? So we should we start moving away from it. Let's do that. That was kind of why I said I was sneaking away. Ooh, I got a twenty-two on my perception check. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so the swamp you hear. It's it's all about hearing at this point because of the mist and the um, the vines, the tangles. Nothing's in sight range, but you hear the um, you hear the sounds of maybe a sound of a um, animal awakening. You hear calls that to you to your ranger senses. You you even if you're not familiar with the animal, you get a sort of sense of danger that tingle down your spine that says move on. Okay. Keep on stepping. Guys, we should go very quickly. We should go very quickly <laughs> as I'm... <Okay. clears throat> I was trying to beat... Uh, never mind. Fine. Okay. And we start... They all know we're here we're anyway. Yeah. Are you making your way to Arjunvast? We are. Cool. Boy, are we. Just Waldo in the lead, it God, sounds right. like. Of course. Yes. Well, it takes you almost into the night, but soon enough, you find the main road of Barovia and you take that worn path. And before you, then you see the stark mansion of Arjun Vostholt. Behind it, from the highest tower, there is a bright silver light guiding you like a <sighs> lighthouse to safety. Over oh, at the Argenvost hold. There's a la <laughs> Okay. You really need to clean this place up, Commander. <laughs> I, um, as we're approaching, um, the little dragon is going to poke its head out and look at the silver light. And I'm going to say, how do you feel about the name Ginny? Hmm? Yes, no, maybe. Lobster? Did you call it a lobster? Hmm. 
No. How does how does it feel about that? About Ginny? Yeah. Ginny. It just sort of nods its head and sort of nestles itself back into your cloak. Yeah, I feel so loved. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's official. Short for Arjun Vast. Ginny. Yeah. Uh, the there are few signs of life at Arjun Vast as you return. A couple of ravens perched on the parapets and a soft glow inside. You also then see that uh, the main door opens and you hear a tap. And you see an old man with little circular spectacles come out, tapping his cane along. And he comes out. Who are you, winged boy? Oh, it, it, I'm Cyvor. I heard your voice in rock. You, you sent me here, and this is the first time I'm meeting you. But I also found out that you're also kind of a murderer. But also, it's great meeting you. I'm so excited. This is this is him, right? Do nice Sorry. to see you. Hi, I'm Cyvor. Rudolph. Cyvor, I have no idea who you are, and I will caution you. I may be of questionable methods, according to some of your group. Yes. However, I would never be so cruel as to purposefully bring a soul into Barovia. Never. But what you saw was the work of some other power in this land. And by some other power, I mean the other power. So, I would like all of you to come in. I do believe I am still under the same curse I talked about before. But at this point, there is little to lose and there is very little time. I am aware of the situation with Esmeralda, and I will not lose another child to this monster. You are perhaps the last hope of this land. It has not swelled up this way for a very long time, and if this hope is squashed, then I think it will be squashed forever. Saivo, you yes. can draw the map, yes? Of, oh, of course. I, I've, yeah, of course. Good. Come in. We have a war room prepared. Who is we? The Order has told me of what you are going to do. And I am sure that soon enough Strahd spies will know as well. But if you act smart and you act quickly, perhaps you have a ch chance. We have received word from Yester Hill as well. Your friend Sauriv will lend what strength they have, as will the Order of the Ravens, the Order of the Feather. It is your choice how you will use them. But know that in all out all done, the castle is folly. Come. Let us discuss this final push to save this land. And you see him turn around and tap, tap, tap. His cane disappears into Arjun Vast Holt. He's a lot. I thought that this was our house. It definitely is. I feel a little bit odd being invited in back into. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have a discussion. Own. It's assuming that we survive the next couple of days. We can deal with property management after we kill Strahd. <sighs> Priorities. <laughs> so, Five or are, are you okay? okay? Whoop. Yeah, I just. I th I thought he brought me here. You were tricked like the rest of us. Don't be ashamed. We're glad you're here, Cyborg. 
Yeah, you know. I'm not so sure that kind of Mr. Okay Strahd that brought you here. Look at all you've done since you've arrived. If Strahd brought you here, it was the biggest mistake of his undeath. If it wasn't this complicated man, then maybe it was some power that knew that the legend of this complicated man would be what it would take to get you to come. I don't think it is necessarily an evil thing to bring someone to a land like this if by bringing them it means the land salvation. Wise words, just water. Were they? Yeah, yeah, great job. Wise enough. Well, regardless of how I, I got here, I'm glad I am. So are we. Us. And you've saved Akantha a couple times, so, you know, it's, that's, that's good that you've been here. Because the rest of us can't fly at all. No, I... So. Well. And I just like your company. So okay. who's ever been to a war meeting? I have. <laughs> Not me! I have too. See, Let's there we go. Well then, uh, lead the way, Commander. All right, let's go. So, sure. as you walk in and up the stairs, you notice there is a small flurry of activity. You see the two little boys from Velaki um, running about in the main hall, chasing one another, playing hide and seek here in Arjunbast Holt. You notice that the entire family that owned the Blue Water Inn is here. It seems not just some of the order has come, but the entirety of the Order of the Feather has come here. You receive word that they believe that they stayed as long as they could. They were nearly sussed out. And um, the uh, oppressive rule of the new mayor of Velaki was too much. It's time for a last stand or to flee or one of the two they inform you. So they are all here. They have prepared rooms for all of you. They have begun to fix some of the mansion, knowing that it is short term only, but if they can provide you with enough beds to have one comfortable sleep, they will try. They have brought food, wine, and an actual delicious smell seems to waft through the house. They lead you up um, to the old knight commander's room and where the knights were dining previously the undead knights they seem to have moved that long banquet table into the main hall in front of the throne where you first saw the lord commander now the old banners are ripped down and one banner stands in the back there is a it is a plain silver field with the number seven painted on, perhaps hastily, but heraldry nonetheless. As one of the were ravens opens the doors, or, um, you know, holds the doors open for you and gestures in. The seven, the s three seats on either side, and then the throne itself sit empty as were ravens and a couple scruffy looking druidic figures stand at attention for all of you. There are a number of notes scattered about the table. Quiet discussions cease and they all look towards you and gesture up. We are here for you, whatever it may be. The meeting is yours, Lord Commander. And the door shuts behind you on the oh, meeting room. Oh, look, like this wall, though, it is it, your. Is Shale still a, um, a whirlwind? <laughs> because if she is, all those notes just went. Yeah. <laughs> I assume not. But that oh, is yeah. where we are going to end the session. Oh. And I leave it to you, players. Again, a military assault on Strahd's castle. As you know, 
the fortification of it is immense. But there are some options before you to consider, to think about before next week. A potential distraction, an attack on Falaki, perhaps a false fortification and mustering around Barovia. Whatever you can think of to try to draw any of Strahd's force out, you are told by both the Druids and the Were Ravens that Strahd's forces are he is assembling. He has been seen armored atop his nightmare, patrolling the spires of Ravenloft, ready for war once again, provoked like never before since this realm has become his and his wrath is ready to come down upon you. So plan, think, come up with ideas between all of you, between next session and now, as you get ready to storm the castle. Well, first things first is line the- Oh, there's Think my it'll chair. work? There's my chair and we'll go sit down at the end of the table. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, awesome. Damn, do we level? Final assault, do we level? Level 11 for the final assault. Yeah. Yay! Level 19! <clears throat> level um, 99! Thanks, Peter! <laughs> <laughs>